Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. All right, welcome back, you guys. Um, I still, I still haven't like fully set up all my stuff here, so I, I kind of forgot I had to do something for uh, running Elden Ring, but, but yeah, hopefully uh, everybody had a good weekend. Um, is maybe, my audio? Maybe I'll give you the best nut. Oh, there we go. Glad to catch you live. You always stream when <laughs> I'm not. At um, home okay, much. let's see here. And I feel like I've seen all your vids. I need more Gino Machine content. <laughs> yeah, eventually. Yes. Slowly but surely. Uh, but Fibor, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Uh, Poda Catalina, thanks for the brand new sub. Uh, K Mibs, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Coolkit, thanks for the bits. And Triple Ace, thanks for that 13 month resub, dude. Uh, this song, actually, that's one of the things that I haven't set up yet, I guess. This song is I'm Not My Season by Fleet Foxes. Um, actually, speaking of that, though. So, yeah, what we're going to do today, um, we're going to do a Flay only run. Because, speaking of more content, uh, this is going to be another YouTube run, probably. We did do the whip-only run, which is pretty fun. And flails, I think, are really bad. So, we'll see. Like, maybe they're actually not that bad. Who knows, dude? Um, and then, yeah, this is going to be probably, like, a longer stream. So, we'll do God Run 3 after we're done this run, I think. Why did I cut out going too far? It's because it's, it's too long, is why I cut it out. But, but yeah. But, yeah, welcome back, everybody. So, uh... Let me know if there's any audio issues, by the way. Uh, who? Also, if the game's too quiet or something. Kind of quiet for me, I feel like. None so far. Okay, that's a good sign. I'm gonna go like this. Okay, so. Um, here are the list of flails, apparently. So we got the flail. We know where that is. The Knight Rider flail you get from, I think, the Weeping Knight's Cavalry. The Chain Link flail. I don't know where that's from. Ch oh, it's, a, it's an RNG drop. Yeah, this is just going to be a casual run, probably. I want to, you know, we'll, we'll just try out all the flails like we did with the whip run. I basically upgraded all of them and we tried them all out. So this is really just an RNG drop, I guess. Yeah, there's only five flails. I think there were only like there's only five or six whips as well. Okay, family heads you get from uh, my good friend Gary. I think. Yep, that's true. And then Bastard Stars from Estelle. So, so yeah, it's a pretty short list, I guess, right? Maybe. Of an Xbox? Maybe. I do not have an Xbox. Like, not an Xbox, not whatever the model is at I'm this point. I'm here for the flail content. Uh, Lamas, thanks so much for the six month prime resub. And Gator, thanks for the 13 maybe, month uh, maybe. resub. I'll give you the thanks, best not okay. ever. There we go. That's it. Damn. Must have been late sharing the 12 month already at 13. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much, Gator, dude. All right, what, uh, what class should we start? I guess most of these are probably decks. I didn't check, though. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll actually, that's not true. Not ever. They're kind of not great at all. Like C and E scaling. Maybe it goes up to like B at some point. I don't know. Oh, Chainlink has S scaling and strength. Okay, interesting. I don't know if these are going to be good for, like, straight-up damage or or just, like, a status build or something. But, uh, we're too tough. Thanks for the two-month resub as well, dude. Yeah, we're going to be flailing today, but then, yeah, we're also going to be doing more God Run 3. So, I think, like, two weeks ago, we did a run, and now we're in game four of God Run 3. So, we're going to do Bloodborne today. But, realistically, we're just going to do practice for God Run 3 most of this week. What do we name this character? What's a good flail name? I can't think of anybody who who uses a flail. Yeah, flails are good for killing and some like really stupid NPCs. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't know a name. Man, why do I, why did I start doing this? I should just name every character G. It's much easier. Uh, wet butter, I appreciate that, dude. Christian. 
Christian Flail. Uh, attack helicopters. I don't think I can type all that. <laughs> okay, I'll name it. Uh, what was the first one? Odd Joe Bob. Okay, sure. I got. It. What does that actually mean? Anything though? Mel Gibson, I don't understand the reference there. I had a name, Redemption. Yeah, but then there's gonna, <laughs> gonna be like a million. Actually, okay, Flail Flailure is good, sure. Flailure. I like that. Uh, we'll start. Uh, let's just start someone that I don't really start very often that has decent strength and dex. That's not the samurai. Maybe, maybe uh, the best nut ever. We can go hero. Wait, we're gonna pick up the first flail right away. And the. Actually, the flow needs a lot of decks. Let's go Warrior, maybe. Warrior or Vagabond. Giant Lobster, thanks for the seven month reset, maybe, dude. Maybe I'll give you the and best Madman not ever. Pesos or Pecos, thanks for the uh, three month resub. Or the three month in advance sub. Thanks so much, dude. Yeah, I think it's 18 decks, so we'll go we'll go Warrior. Um Warrior, and then we'll go the rune so that I can actually wield this thing. We're good. So how bad will these be? Because I've, uh, I don't know, I've seen them, and they do not look so good. But maybe, maybe, maybe it'll be decent, be who knows, dude. Revo, ever. thanks for the brand new Prime sub as well. Thanks, dude. Really ass. Uh, I think there's five flails in the game. But that'll be good. Like, if, if they're really bad, then it'll be an interesting run to watch where we don't just blast everybody. Uh, Barry, you welcome back. Lion's Claw or Blood Flame Blade? You can put Lion's Claw on the Flail. I somehow don't believe that, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I, I've actually heard Bastard Stars is decent. I think. But maybe, that's that's sort of. I guess it's not that late game, right? Like you could just. Ever. Hey, how are you doing? You put Lion's Claw on a Flail, really? Shiro, thanks for the two month resub. Thanks, dude. I really you can put a chart you can put lion's con a flail dioli welcome back yeah it is it is pretty far but like I guess we just need to we just need to upgrade it kill the, we need to upgrade a flail kill Loretta and then that's basically it right and then kill Estelle except I don't remember when I did the the whip run. Did I do it region locked or not? I can't remember. I'm not sure if we'll do that this time. Like we could, we definitely could do that. I think I did, man. Anybody remember? Yeah, the flail R two I think is really bad, unless I'm mistaken. But let's go on that trower. Region lock not so good. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah doesn't sound so good. Um, but we can, so you, you farm a pumpkin head for the other one. Of course, we'll just use the good old, uh, chi engine. Let's go on, uh, Gugus. Welcome back. And, the uh, ZX, how's it going? A flail guard counter build. Hmm. Okay. You can maybe try that. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of guard counter builds still, though, because I just, I don't like blocking, but... Let's go on Cypher. No, they did they didn't disease, but I saw the I don't know if I responded to that, but I saw your like <laughs> your request. Pretty funny. No, but they're obviously just doing that for like uh to get eyes on the game, which makes sense. Maybe maybe When is that game supposed to come out I'll even? Be the best nut ever. Uh Thomas, thanks for the nine month primary sub. Thanks, dude. Don't have to watch it. What the eyes of P thing? Or what do you mean? Let's go on Dag. Uh Digiloss, welcome back. September 16th. Okay, so that's very soon. Dang, dude. But yeah, no, there's a, like it's gotta be just for publicity, I would assume. My whip only was not region locked. Okay, well, 
the queen. I I feel like we should. I don't know what to do. I feel like this, th these are going to be really bad and we probably shouldn't do it region locked, but. I really did. I, that's kind of surprising. I feel like I would have done that region locked, but. No, we're not doing a no hit run right now. But we are going to do some later when we go back to God Run 3, which is going to be the main thing this week. Although I do have some like other obligations this week, I guess. Whoops. Like we're going to be doing um, a sponsored stream on Thursday. And I guess part, part of tomorrow too. But I, I'm, I'm planning on streaming like pretty long this week to make up for the last two weeks. So it shouldn't really get in the way. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best so, ever. So, I forgot the flow. <laughs> also, I don't have Cheat Engine, uh, I just realized, on on my PC. I'm going to have to get that. Like, essential. Gugas, thanks for the four-month uh, resub, dude. I actually really need to get that. Yeah, we're going to use the uh, Estelle Flail. As soon as I can. Like, we can get that. We can get it pretty early. Hey, buddy. Rip the no-hit run. So, once I pop this... Oh, wait. I already... Should easily be able to get to that. Oh, yeah. I can try ER tool on this. Okay, I'm going to try it. Although, I'm on... Okay, let's see. Does ER tool have like a I don't think ER tool has all the stuff I need though. Let me see. I think it just it, ER tool is like a practice tool. Yeah, I, I it doesn't have everything I need. Um okay, Let me find this here. But yeah, I kind of want to, um, I kind of would like to give myself the map fragments, dude. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let me get the grand archives table. I have to install cheat engine too, I guess. I didn't actually think about this. Okay. Maybe, maybe... Let me put this somewhere. The best nut ever. Yeah, this will only take a second, you guys. Cheat table is good. Maybe and now I need the actual I'll cheat the best engine. Nut ever. <laughs> there's, there's some, like, really long comment that somebody made thinking I was, like, using... Uh, I don't know what they... I forget what they were saying. I should go pull it up. But they were saying that they're, like, pretty sure I cheat with, like, roll... Automatic rolls and stuff. It's so funny that people say that, dude. Um, okay. This. Hello? Oh, boy. Doesn't want me to run this. Oh, I my my Oh boy. It 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 doesn't like cheat engine, dude. Okay. This is what I get for not doing this earlier, dude. I I, I didn't I haven't like properly set everything up yet. Maybe maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Yeah. Woo. Uh Xeno no cat. Uh, thanks for the two-month resub. Tyler, thanks for the brand new sub. And Curtis, thanks for the three-month prime resub as well. Do I not want to chat overlays for 7TV? Yeah, I kind of don't. Uh, if you look at the list of... Um, if you look at the list of emotes maybe, that I have enabled maybe. here, you will probably see why. Not ever. 
Oh, this is annoying. Um... Also, uh, <laughs> Marakai, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Okay, well, maybe, maybe we're not. Well, I kind of need it, though, man. I kind of, I kind of need it because I'm not going to farm that flail, like the chain link flail, right? Chance to drop, does it, will it say the drop rate in here? 4%, like I'm not, <laughs> I'm not farming 4%, dude. Needs to be in a video. Yeah. I, I'm sure it's fine, but at the same time. Oh my god, Norton, dude. Okay, let, let's get this back here. What did the what did this remove though? The, okay. This is really annoying. Uh, one second, you guys. One second.
Okay, welcome back, you guys. Um, okay, so I got... Some stuff sorted out. We should be good. Surely. Okay. <laughs> A slight interruption. You know what? Maybe I should have done this uh, before. Okay, here we go. You know what? Maybe I should reset the timer back to like five minutes, <laughs> but it's it's okay. Okay. Uh, so what were we doing? Okay, eighteen decks. Let's get eighteen decks. What's up with the bot? Uh, why? What did it do? No, those are just commands that <laughs> people are putting in there. Okay, so we got 18 decks, so we can now wield this thing. I, I don't know if we want to do region locked, you guys. I feel like we kind of don't. Also, does anybody know if this pumpkin head can drop the flail? Like, I don't remember. Let me check. Okay, chain link flail. Pumpkin head... the wait so no this guy doesn't have it we're not fort height cam okay well let's um yeah let's just start i guess we'll start getting some stuff set up huh i have to use this specific one we're gonna use we're gonna use all of them we're gonna use all of them i think i assume this one just doesn't really have anything super special about it but you, so you can, you can't put Lion's Claw on a flail, dude. I don't believe that. I guess we'll try it, but. Yeah, true. There's, yeah, there's also the Knight's Cavalry. So we'll try to get a bit upgraded and then we'll go fight him. But yeah, I guess there's three flails that we can get our hands on here. Pumpkin heads is the most damaging. Okay. Not sure what if I should get golden vow and all that stuff. Like how bad is this gonna be for getting this guy? Oh man, the game feels really smooth actually. Let's uh I'm gonna try max ray tracing. So do I have to like restart the game to, for that to take full effect or not? See, is this gonna? Oh, it's actually, way better than I thought. I guess we'll probably end up using Golden Vow on something. Yeah, the insane Elder Ring ray tracing. We can use Ash of War. Well, I I probably will. But but what Ash of Wars can even go on a flail, dude? That R2 is so bad. Well, at least I think it is. Man, why is it like kind of do some damage? I'm. It's it's actually like kind of dealing some damage, dude. A little surprised. I thought this was going to be like just... I, I guess it's too soon to, to say, but... I thought we were going to be just tickling everybody at this point. We're going to go get the, the blue... Blue Dancer charm at some point. We might as well go with... You know, just try to maximize our damage a little bit. All kinds of... Yeah, we're going to try to use all of them. How many bosses? We're gonna do the all the remembrances, I guess. Or uh, do I want to fight Rikard? Probably not. So we maybe well maybe I'll do Rikard. I don't know. It just sounds terrible. I I don't think we're gonna do region lock for this. No. Unless I should, but 
I assume the audio sounds fine, right? Nobody said anything. Any headphone users hearing some weird stuff? I don't think I'll use sleep on this, but I might. Yeah, I'm right card with a flail. I don't know how much I want to torture myself, but maybe I will, dude. You will see. I'm wondering if I'm going to notice the ray tracing at all. Probably not. But yeah, we could definitely do a run like this for every weapon class, I guess. But that's that's going to be... It's going to take a long time, right? With how many different weapons there are. And especially if I'm trying to use all the, all the weapons in a certain class. Like, I, I imagine there's some classes that have a lot more weapons than five. But yeah, I just... I upgraded my PC. Yeah, and so now the, the PC that I'm streaming on was basically... is the setup that I had for playing games last time. So now I've got like a 4090 and a bunch of upgraded stuff. So I guess we'll go over here. So this pumpkin head can drop this flail, right? Oh yeah, we're going to kill Estelle for sure. We're probably going to do that pretty early. That's what I was thinking. I'll probably do that. Almost right away. And then, yeah, we can get the eight. We can get the seven in. Uh, how many? Wait, I should check the flails again. There are. There's two sombers, right? I would assume. The family heads plus the Estelle one. I have to farm it. Well, I'm, I'm probably not going to, like, properly farm it, but. I'm curious about a Charger 2 setup, so I'm going to pick up the charge attack stuff, too. And imagine it's good. But you never know. It, it reminds me of the Scythe R2 that's just insanely slow. Like the same speed. Yeah, I think there's only five flails on this. I miscounted, but... There's very few. Oh, is... Oh, Knight Rider Somber. Really? Okay. Well, in that case, I guess... There's three Somber ones. Drop rate is abysmal. Farm for two hours to get it one time. Like, the flail you're saying? Or... The... The... Spectra says it's a 4%, which I guess it sounds about right. Hey, let's buy the rest of these. So yeah, I guess we can get ourselves a plus three for now. Like we we could go get the Dectus medallions, go all the way to Altus and stuff. Just get set up. I mean, maybe I should, dude. I had to farm. I I really haven't farmed almost anything in this game. I guess the one thing I farmed was on the shield run. I farmed uh like the Gilded Great Shield, I think it's called. So this, this guy for sure can drop this flail, right? Ooh, there's some... Table has been updated since I last used it. Cool. I guess we're going to try to clear out some of these enemies. Or maybe I can just sneak up from behind. Although it's not maybe, nighttime maybe. anymore. I'll give you the best nut ever. Mishino hi. You can't, can you backstab with the... Oh, you can. Okay. Well, that's at least something they have on the whips. How's this guy so stupid, dude? Maybe, maybe... Best not ever. So, how is he not aggroed? <laughs> like, what is going on? What is going on here? Oh my god, what the hell just happened there? 
I'm so confused. <laughs> Soundproof helmet. I guess so. Dude, it's actually like kind of not that bad. Wow, first try dropped, you guys. Insane. My luck is so good. Okay, this one's eight, 18 strength. Okay. Yeah, I always forget Spinning Chain also has these like follow-ups too, man. I wonder if those are any good. You know, I, I will get the bleed crafting. I guess... I guess Blood Flame Blade is just better, probably, but I'll just pick it up. You never know if I'll use it. Might as well. Hmm. These can't be that bad, right? There's no way. Based off what I've seen so far. There's no way these are going to be that bad. I just want to clear the floor too. Oh. Oh. boy. Oh boy. I'm dying. I literally died to a rat, dude. How did this happen? Uh, Smeg, thanks for the two-month resub, and Darthal, uh, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. Yeah, not sure how that just happened. But th th that'll be, like, the only death of this run, too. Watch just watch, dude. Death to a random rat. Okay, well, maybe I don't need to kill the guys here. Maybe it's fine. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Yeah, I just, I just don't know how that rat got behind me. I thought, I thought it was in front of me or something. Uh, Pete, thanks for the four month prime resub, dude. Yeah, washed up. <laughs> yeah. True. Okay, so we got medallion. Oh, let's go kill the, where should I go from? We can go from here. I never go this way. Uh, we can go get the Knight Rider flail now. Or maybe, I guess I should probably upgrade first, too. I can go do that in a second. I really can't tell the difference between ray tracing. I, I think maybe, I maybe, maybe should quit out. I'll give you the best so I can ever. see it, maybe. Zaziki, thanks for the seven month prime sub as well. Let's go in Spider Cave. Change of PCs, fixed leg spikes. Why? Well, I, I didn't really have any leg spikes, to be honest. Uh,. Or did I? Maybe maybe when I was playing online I did. But I, I ever since I swapped to a two PC setup like six months ago. Whenever I did that, I haven't really had any issues. But I haven't noticed anything with maybe, I, I yeah, maybe, I can't remember. Maybe there were some the with one ten. Seems fine so far. I'm playing on the, the forty ninety, yeah. A uh, pre-famulated. Thanks for the eight-month prime resub, dude. I'm actually re really concerned about my uh, power consumption at this point because you know <laughs> we're gonna have when we're doing God Run three like today, I'm gonna have the you know double PC plus the PS5, and I don't know how much power 4090 like just drains out compared to. I, before I went with my gaming setup had a 3070 before so, so I don't know guess we'll see eighteen months since released no DLC surely one day it'll come out 
Seems fine so far, though. It's <laughs> surrounded by Greta, dude. Yeah, surely. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best. Lost. Nut Thanks ever. for the eight month resub as well. All right, let's go. Uh, I guess we'll go upgrade. Plus three. It's better than nothing. Although, yeah, I could just. out here woman I could just go and get ourselves a plus um get ourselves a plus 12 for now if I go collect everything maybe I, what do you guys think should I just go do that let's get the night rider flail first I feel like that's a cooler flail than this one Insane plus three. DLC shadow drop tomorrow. You got that inside information. Oh, uh, we also have golden vow, which I can put on something. Not sure what. What are the odds I can land a charge or two on a knight's cavalry with maybe, a flail, maybe. man? I'll give you the best Probably not so not good. I, it's fine. I'm too lazy to go. We should we should go get the wet blade though. This is okay. Oh boy, that's gonna hurt me. Seventy-seven. Oh my god, that's so slow. Come on, bro. Okay. Love the horse. Yeah, there's no way these could be that bad. Like, I, I guess they're gonna be the worst on. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Bosses that are immune to status. Oh, that did not work out at all. Kinda, I'm trying to use the Ash of War, but it's a little awkward to use on this guy. Here we go. Post him. At 110 repost. Hey, there we go, dude. This weapon even good in late game? I. I guess we're gonna find out. Knight Rider Flail. So this one is 24 decks. I guess we're gonna go kill the other Knight's Cavalry here. Probably what makes the most sense to do. Go here. Also, I guess what there's some I guess we can get the source seal. Not sure if there's anything else. I, I was thinking there was something else over here to get. Also, apparently, um apparently there's a new cheese for Grail. On the bridge. I, I haven't seen it yet. So if, if anyone has a link, I'd be interested in seeing it. But. Oh, yeah. I was going to kill Grail. That's what I was going to do. Yeah, we can do that. Two hand. Oh, wait. Two hand, like, power stance flails? I would assume. I haven't seen the moveset, though. Well, I guess we can try it. Seems consistent. Does anyone have a, a, a clip of it? Because I, I don't even know what the idea is. I assume you just knock him off somehow. Really, this isn't bait. Let me see this here. This is interesting. So, bait him back. I'm stuck in the tree. Okay. <laughs> and then he 
balls. That's so stupid, dude. Okay, we gotta try this. Okay, let me see what you do. So you bait him. Sit behind the tree. Once he's far out, then you... Like, I, I guess... You sit here until you get the flying attack? I was always wondering if there's a cheese here. And I did test a bunch of things with, like, trying to bait him off the edge, but... Let's try it. All good, dude. Ah. Uh. Forgive me to determine if you had. It seems torrent, whereas I may. There is, but I can take gathering. Hey, I don't want to go to round table. I'm busy right now. Cause yeah, I saw people talking about this for bingo, but. You can cheese everything in Souls games. That's that's almost true. Yeah, because when I tested cheese over here, I, I tried over on the other side. And he would just like despawn and come back. Makes it more consistent not aggroing until he faces you. I think he was just sitting somewhere around here. Probably wouldn't do this on a no hit run, but <clears throat> not sure. Just ne <laughs> like you try this on a no hit run and then there's just some random fire deflection and it comes and hits you or something. Easily see that. Okay, so. It's almost there. I think maybe a bit further, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it's like 80k or so. Is it close enough? That seems bad. I think I've messed this up. He's like really far, dude. Start flying, buddy. I I highly doubt this is gonna work, but I wonder if I need to like fully reset him here. Let's try resetting him. It's going to make this run a lot longer than, <laughs> than it needs to be, but I do want to try this out at least. Please don't turn. Okay, so he's aggro. We'll go back. Maybe we should pull up that, that video again to see exactly... With the tree on the other side. Well, there was there was a time where I there was some run where I got him stuck in the tree, but he didn't like glitch out and die. Don't reago until he's on the circle. Okay. <clears throat> was I supposed to be crouching that whole time? Well, he's supposed to fly and then fall in the tree. 
I think I'm, I'm messed up. Okay, wait, he's de-aggroed though now. I think. He's basically on the circle. Why now? Okay, he's in the tree. <laughs> he's in the tree. He's T posing. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> That's so stupid, dude. Oh my God. That's so funny. Man, I, I should have used the golden foot. Could Because could you imagine? You could use a golden foot on this guy, the Knight's Cavalry, and Grail. Probably all in one go. And get like the three for one. Okay. That is so funny, dude. What a great cheese, man. That's great. I wonder who found that. It was his Az or somebody else. Dang. We just come right down here and cheese a nice cavalry. Elden cheese. The cheese only run is looking pretty good at this point. Yeah, you can you can cheese the bell bearing hunter too, but I kind of feel like that's not so good. Although to, to be fair, I haven't done it. It just when I've seen people try it, it looks really bad. Man, that grail, that grail cheese is beautiful, maybe, though. Maybe, I'll give you the best no, maybe not quite ever. as nice as this one. But, dang. It's crazy. Uh, Zilla, thanks for the brand new sub. Noah, thanks for the three-month prime new sub. And Unlawful Falafel, thanks for the brand new prime sub <clears throat> as well. Dang, that is insane that you can get so many runes so quickly like that at the start of this game. Because you could already get, I mean, if you just spend a good 20 minutes at the start of a game, at the start of this game, you can easily get, what, 130k runes? But now with the Grail kill, <laughs> like, that's crazy, man. Now, it is kind of slow. Maybe. Like, so for I'll bingo, it would be good right, early game, but most plus four weapons are... I guess it depends, man. It depends if you know what you're doing or not. Pretty, it's, I guess it's, it's kind of slow, but it's not that slow. That's insane, man. Jappy Pan, thanks for the three month prime resub. Yeah, we're going to go, we're going to go kill the gray old though. I wish they, I wish they changed the names of these or had different names for these guys, dude. Cause one's, one's gray old and one's grail. And it's kind of annoying. Uh, I should... Oh, I don't have any root resin. Let's go here. And I tried bell bearing cheese. I'm not going to do that. We, we've already... I just wanted to try this. We already have way too many runes. Like, we have a, a, a stupid number of runes right now. PC specs posted. I don't, but I could do that if I remember in like the below the stream. That's insane that you can just get. And yeah, you could probably, if you time this properly, you could probably get a, a, a golden footfall for all of this. Because it's three minutes, right? I'm sure you could do it all in three minutes. Wow, that's a cool cheese, man. 
wonder how many more cheeses are like that in this game that just haven't been found yet. There's probably so many. Just because there's so many bosses, right? Really, those things don't get found unless there's a need for it, almost. Put at the end of this dragon. Hmm, maybe. I, I wonder which one, like, if this dragon kill takes longer or if the flying grail takes longer. Want a Margit one? Well, for the main bosses, it's it's kind of different, I think, right? Yeah, Blackway Kindred Cheese would be insane. There's There probably is one, dude. Like, the way he jumps around and stuff. I'm sure there's there's some way to do it, but maybe not consistently. Rail reset cheese. Nah, I just I don't think it's a point. But yeah, it's it's a decent early game rune farm, I guess. But it just it's so slow. Maybe maybe you don't I'll get that many runes, right? Because unless I'm mistaken, the the dragons. The, like, the little dragons don't respawn, it's only the big one. Or something. And so you don't actually get the full 80k every time. You get 50k from Grail, and then you get an extra, what? Yeah, 30-ish k from all the other ones. Okay, so we're a really high uh, level at this point. 200,000, and I haven't done anything. Except kill the Knight's Cavalry. That is very stupid. That's insane, man. We're just so rich. Well, hopefully we make these flails look good. Because when I've seen them before, they're just atrocious. Memory of Grace for the bingo? Yeah, surely I'll do that. I haven't yet, Bender. Actually, let me download that right now. Open up the site. I would love for that to work. All patches. Oh. I'm being attacked by a dragon. Isn't commonly downloaded. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I see Gino is flailing. Oh my god, it works. ER as per usual. ER tool works, dude. That's a miracle. Okay. That'll be that'll be nice. Hopefully, um Hopefully What is it? Hopefully uh gadget the DS remastered gadget works too. I'm sure it will. Yeah, that that's gonna be really nice. Although it's kinda we're kinda past the point where I even need it very badly, but Um, the Porker, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, and the Loner Stamp, thanks for the six-month resub, dude. Which one? Prime resub. Welcome back. How's that emote? Which one? <laughs> There's a few that are questionable there. You guys notice that the game just looks way better or not? I think I notice a slight improvement. But it's not really enough, considering the hardware upgrade that's needed for this. Is it going Blackbird? Alright, slowly but surely, we're getting set up, dude. Bastard stars, we're definitely going to do that. We're going to use all of them, so. I honestly, the game doesn't look that different. Normally, I play on high graphics with no ray tracing, but now we're on maximum with maximum ray tracing. I don't really notice much. Yeah, time to cheese the bell bearing hunter, except I'm not actually going to do that. All right, let's get the beast torch. I don't think anything else here is really required. Want a Fort Fair off? This uh, second 4090. Yeah, that'd be worth it, dude. 
surely that's worth it. Run off uh, easy anti cheat. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like that's pretty. If you're having issues running this game, that's probably the first thing you should do, is run Elden Ring without easy anti cheat enabled. Uh, thanks, Darks. Yeah, double 40, 90 setups. Not, not overkill at all, dude. Especially playing Elden Ring. That's capped at 60 FPS. I guess I, I would be more interested now in maybe trying to uncapped, but I, I don't see why I even would for this. Like, it's, I don't need it, dude. Or maybe, maybe I just cap it at like 120. I think that'd be pretty reasonable. ER tracing, ER ray tracing is just bad. Low performance and invisible quality improvement. I, I agree, yeah. Like FromSoft should not, <laughs> they should probably be more worried about just improving um like the performance of their games overall rather than trying to like add ray tracing and stuff dude because that's one one thing FromSoft is very weak at is their um optimization of the games so okay so what what should we do you guys should we go to Liernia, get ourselves a plus 12 and then fight market or should we do it with a plus like low upgrade what are we thinking here we might as well go upgrade and just see how good these things actually are right Let's go do it. Although they have bleed, so I don't know how much it's going to change it. You can also go get um, blood flame blade and stuff. I, I guess we'll do all remembrances. It's just fighting Rykard is... I don't know. I guess I'm going to fight right card. 120 FPS update. No, there's no way. If they put what, like, they'll, they'll put 120 FPS in their games as soon as they fix Zip and Elden Ring, dude. That's what's going to happen. Both of which are not going to happen. Starfield on 30 FPS console gaming, dude. Now we'll fight right card, dude. We'll do it. It's fine. People want to see the, the suffering. You know what? It probably won't be that bad, considering we can get some good bleed going. And just be tanky and stuff. So, it's fine. We'll just do it. Uh, if you do exclamation mark, save organizer. Wild goose. Need 120 minimum these days. Yeah, 120 would be nice. I, I can try there's there's a mod there's a mod for uncapped FPS in this game, I would assume, right? And I would just be able to cap it at ninety or one twenty. I would assume. There was for DS3. It's the reason I don't use it though, is because it's it's uh like it kinda messed up the game a bit. I also saw some stuff about I don't know if this PS5 Bloodborne 60 FPS patch is becoming publicly available. But I I did, I saw some, I saw Lance tweeting about it, maybe. We're going to go, want to go kill the Crystallian, so I guess I don't even need to buy anything. Oh, Hexagen G-Table has it, really? I'd probably rather have that in a mod, but... So let's try it out. It mostly runs 40 to 50 FPS. Yeah, I mean... That's kind of what happens when you're playing this game. Uh, Elden Ring on the Steam Deck is actually not terrible. Like, it's kind of... Unless... Maybe I'm thinking of Sekiro, but... I think it's around there. Like, 40 to 50 FPS. Which is better than not being able to play it at all.
Okay, so we are... Where are we going again? We're gonna go... Continue getting ourselves set up. I do have Steam Deck, Mopple, yeah. Steam Deck worth it? I, I think it depends who you are. If you, if you, like... If you travel around a lot, then I would say probably. If not, then probably not. Baldur's Gate 3? Yeah, I've, I've heard a lot of talking about it. Maybe I'll try it eventually. I don't really have a lot of time at this point, though. Uh, we... Sh I guess we're gonna do all remembrances, so let's go get the Academy Key and stuff. Place to see requested runs and charity runs. There's, I, I don't think there is at this point. But... When we do the run request bet, we'll definitely have something set up for that. I wish I could just link the actual thing that I see that Twitch has, but I, I don't think I can. Customize cock? Yeah, I, I think I saw... Wait, I, I saw something. Like, maybe Lark's up. Um, we did a video <laughs> or something. I, I don't know. Am I into MMA? Not really. FPS effect iframes. Um, it depends what you mean by that, but no. Yeah, the, what what I think you're asking, no. I should have gotten the grace back here, man. Kind of want to get blood flame blade. Guess we can just go get it right now, too. But yeah, no, it, it does it does affect stuff though, like 100%. I remember playing ES3 PvP at 120 FPS, and it it does affect things, sort of. Not sure about this game though as much. Like if you were playing in 120 FPS, I'm not sure if you would, you would probably notice a difference on certain things, but it wouldn't actually really affect, or it shouldn't affect your rolls. What is this R2? Not bad. Uh, we got the Academy key. Um, Let's go here. Yeah, we'll just go to Iggy, and then we're going to go kill the Crystallion. We'll go kill, or go pick up the Bell Bearing, and we'll, we'll go plus 12 on some of these. And we're easily going to have enough stats to obviously wield them, since we have 200k runes. I think we'll be better Flails or Whips. I'm not, actually really not sure. I think probably Whips, but based on what I'm seeing, maybe now Flails. I, I thought Flails were just the worst class in the game. That's a really fast load right there, I just realized. I'm getting, I'm getting better load times. I just really noticed it right there, I think. But yeah, the, I guess the thing with flails is that they can crit, right? That's that's pretty big, right? Whips can't crit at all, which is kind of annoying. They kind of make up for it by having crazy range and stuff, but... We don't need him yet. So, let's go here. In the song, uh, this song is Ancient Stones by Jeremy Soul. But yeah, no, I, I need to get Snip back on the screen because, or you know what? I ideally, I would love to. Have, maybe, there's like maybe. an extension you can get. I'll give you the best nut where ever. there's like a Spotify up, panel below the stream, and uh, it, it just shows what's currently playing. I'd much rather that than have it on screen. But I, I well, last time I tried to set it up, it didn't work. Mic sound worse? Does it, it, it's possible. Uh, Dead Nasty, thanks for the four month reset, dude. Does anybody notice uh, any differences in the mic? There shouldn't be, but it's certainly possible. Since I did, like, I did have to change some stuff. 
Something up with audio? It's certainly possible. What is um what is Twitch's recommended audio bitrate? Cuz all my all, all my OBS settings I had to like redo them, so Ah, okay, so it's actually lower than it's Okay, this might change some things. I shouldn't have to restart the stream for this. I was streaming below the recommended audio bit rate. Okay, maybe maybe that that should that should improve it. Hopefully. Uh I guess let's go. We already got the I don't know which way to go first. Let me know if that improves anything though. It's probably not gonna be a super noticeable difference unless you're, you know, on headphones and stuff, but didn't have to restart the stream for that. I'm not sure what the power stance move set is. I'm, I'm gonna level up a bit here and we'll check in. You're no difference. Like, no difference compared to a minute ago or compared to what it normally sounds like. Yeah, it's possible there's other settings. I, I actually had to change a bunch of my OBS stuff because for some reason it didn't like what was going on. But oh, if there's no difference is good, but I'll, I'll just listen to what Hunter says because usually Hunter notices all the little things. Sound like I'm peaking less. Uh, okay, it's possible. Okay, so it was 24 dex and I think 18 strength. For the other one, so let's just go like that for now. Maybe, maybe. So what? What is this power sense move set? It just looks like hammers, I think, right? For the soul game bosses, or maybe all the 165 bosses on the yard. I would like to see Earth thoughts on some of them. Um, Dead Nasty, thanks for the four month resub, and Rafael, thanks for the ten month prime resub as well. I'm gonna do a tiered list for all boss in this game. Yeah. Let's go on uh, Kazoodle. What's up, little gaggy? <laughs> How's it going, dude? It looks like it's the same as the hammer move set, unless I'm mistaken. I think, pretty sure that's the same as the hammers. That's that's a little unfortunate. That's the same. It probably could have done something cool with that. All right, well, on this fight, we'll go with our trusty plus three flail. In, in some of these underground areas, I do notice a, a bigger difference, I think, with the graphic settings. And maybe the ray tracing is in there as well. Nice one, buddy. Nice one. With the flail from Pumpkinhead? I did, yes. First try drop, of course. Streamer luck. Yeah, right now we're just gonna go get upgraded. We're not doing this run region locked. I, I apparently I didn't do the whip run region locked either. Maybe I was just thinking there's you know there's so few whips in the game that there's no point. I think flail region locked could have been interesting just because you can get three in limgrave. Flails have good poise damage. I don't know actually. You know, even if their charger two is something around 36 poise damage like a uh, I don't know maybe it's maybe it's 39.6 like the hammers but it's it's so slow that like it means it's not really good first class in general then daggers or thrusting swords I don't know I guess we're gonna find out hopefully okay, what's the best way to poise break this guy maybe power stance jump attacks would be decent I don't want to be using the Charge R2 here, really. There it is. Oh, insane. Cute input.
Crystallian Gaming. All right, there we go. Let's go and chat. It's the lowest Elden Ring setup. <laughs> well, the, the, I mean, actually 107, to be fair, probably 15 minutes of that, I was trying to get stuff sorted out or more. And then we tried to cheese on a boss, so. Like, that's not actually super accurate. Flails are strike. I don't know if there's a flail that's non-strike. Hopefully there is. It's, it's always nice to have different damage types of stuff. Let's go on ice. I'm definitely ready for NHL to start up again. I'm excited. Hopefully it's not a letdown from the Sens this year, but we'll see. Yeah, some of the some of the um like foliage definitely looks better here, I think. It's the main thing I notice. I play NHL, like I don't play the game, or I don't play in the NHL, if that's what you're wondering. Um, but no, I, I watch it and I follow it, so. No, I honestly I, I can't stand playing those uh... Well actually no, I, I, I don't I'm not really into those sports games anymore. I, I did used to play NHL when I was younger, though. NHL coming to Seattle? Yeah, that, that I'm, I'm a fan of Seattle, actually. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I just like the team composition and stuff, but... I think it's a good team. I don't know how I keep opening that. Does foliage look better? It's because I have higher settings and I guess ray tracing potentially. The game definitely looks better. It's just not that noticeable. Yeah, it definitely looks better. Okay, we're almost done the setup, you guys. Nearly. Although, maybe we should go... So, there's only two more flails to get, you guys. Family heads and bastard stars. There's only two more. So, we could prioritize going to get those, or we could do something else. I don't know. Kill the DTS? No, I'm not going to kill the DTS. We, we're going to just fight them later. Looks like my audio is bad. <laughs> Surely you're joking. We're not 1440p. Uh, I think I am streaming in 1440p. Am I not? I should be. How's it going, Mia? Yeah, I'm not particip participating in Bingo this season just because I there's a lot of other stuff that I kind of... Or that I'm, I'm prioritizing more highly than the Bingo, basically. And also, I, I don't mind giving, you know, somebody else a chance to be... Or, like, guaranteeing that there's going to be a, another new champion next season, you know? I think it's better. Not not to say that I, like, for sure would have been... Would have won again or anything like that, but... It'll be nice to watch other people compete and, and see how they do and stuff. At a size where I should ignore chat. I definitely do want on want to ever ignore chat, but it's definitely like it's definitely getting harder to read everything. I try to read most stuff. I just I don't respond to most stuff. I guess but I try to. Yeah, I well we we're gonna schedule a match with Butchie last week. But then the timings didn't really work out. And then we're going to do it this week. But now, like, I need to do the God Run 3. Like, I need to start doing that. So, the whole, this whole week... Like, I've got some other stuff playing this week, too, I guess. But, like, today we're going to... Assuming this run doesn't take me eight hours to do. Um, We're going to do God Run 3. It's going to be kind of practice, but we are technically in game four as well right now. So, 
We'll do a Bloodborne run. I just, I need to keep practicing, dude. And I honestly, I haven't been practicing at all in the last two weeks, so. Not only because I didn't have time, but also we were in the middle of an attempt. So I was like, I was like, man, I can't really practice right now because because we're on game three, even though I'm going to get hit anyways, but. But yeah. But even if I wasn't in game three, in game four, and I, I wouldn't have had time to practice anyway, so. Yeah, the games, so we did Dark Souls 3, Sekiro, and Dark Souls 1. So far. And so if I get no-hit Bloodborne, then there's actually a, a legitimate chance that I could get the run. That, man, wouldn't that be, <laughs> that'd be, that'd be so stupid, dude, that happened, but it'd be kind of nice. But at the same time, it's be kind of underwhelming if I just do it like that. Uh, we might play Remnant this week, Ice, yeah. I, I think probably Thursday. I, I don't know. We'll see. I We haven't arranged anything yet. But I, I've been... I That game is really fun. I've been looking forward to continuing it, so... I would definitely like to. I also would like to do a YouTube stream this week. I, I need to get I need to get back on track, you guys. That's what I need to do. All right, let's go upgrade. Need to get back on track. Very well. Let my hand. Or maybe a YouTube stream on Wednesday. Maybe that maybe today should have been a YouTube stream. Doing this kind of just casual Elden Ring run. But that's fine. Double great stars build, high poise, healing in incantations. Yeah, that's a good build, like a jump attack build and stuff. Can't go wrong with a jump attack build in this game, I think. But yeah, the, if anyone's wondering, the reason why I like barely streamed the last two weeks and everything kind of messed up is just because I, I had like, I had family in town the last two weeks. In fact, even more than that. So. What should we do here? Should we upgrade all of these? I think I, I might as well. But they're all, like, the same, though. Maybe not. This one's the dex version. This one's the strength version. So we will get 24. 24. And this is what, this is what all those runes were for, I guess. Uh, I've streamed on YouTube three times so far. In the last, I think, probably... Three months. So. And they were all within the span of three weeks. Because I, what I wanted to do was one stream on YouTube every week. But then I kind of, I don't know. Got away from that. Let's go with the, I guess we're going to go with some sort of quality build on this. Plus 12. Plus 12 chain link. Are there any Ash of War recommendations for these things? I'll put Golden Vow on one of them. But, okay, wait, this one, very similar, actually. Wild Strikes. I feel like I'd rather go, I'd rather try to use Spinning Chain than Wild Strikes, because they're, they're similar, right? But Spinning Chain is the Flail exclusive one. These do look cool, I will say. Back over they do look pretty cool. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go spinning chain. I'll put golden vow on something. Maybe I'll put it on this one. Um. Not sure. I guess it doesn't really matter which one I put it on. This one's the stronger one, so I'll put it on this. I guess. To go standard. Um, and then we'll put that on our right hand. We're also going to equip Blood Flame Blade, I think. And yeah, we could go, we could go Knight's Resolve on something too. So 12 Faith. I needed some Arcane too. We, we could go with some sort of Arcane build. Also, that's, would make a lot of sense. Also, before I forget, let's go get the Wet Blade here. Magic Wet knife safely like safely for what yeah we can go get the magic web blade as soon as we kill red wolf
Hmm. Do we go arcane on this? I still have so many runes, man. I guess the, the remaining should be in strength, or HP. Yeah, frost could be nice. Um, is there something else I had to do? I don't have a, a seal right now. Let's go Domo. We could go quickly get the zero carry weight seal up here, I guess. While we're, we might, we might as well. I would like to go with blue dancer charm at some point. Yeah, we might, we might get a bit of arcane too. Like maybe we'll, um, just the problem with going with a straight arcane build is that any boss that's immune to everything, it's just not good on. Magic Shredded Tear, Golden Vow, Howl, Red Feather all stack. They do all stack, yeah. They do? I don't know why I ran through this guy, but... What weapon did I use my very first playthrough? I used a couple weapons. I started out with the Zweihander. Um, and then eventually I switched over to using uh, the Cross Naginata, and then I eventually power stanced it with, uh, I think it was a, a Pike or something. 20 Vigor is good enough. Let's go in Q. Yeah, we'll go like this. We'll go kill Margit and Godric now. So uh, I'm, this should be decent, I think. And then eventually we'll go kill Loretta and we can do the skip into Lake of Rot. Go kill Estelle, get that flail going. Maybe, maybe and then after that, the we can ever. go kill Garrus and get the last flail. And then that's it. So yeah, I still, I, I still need to, I need maybe, to test out the thing that you sent, Q. I'll give you the best nut ever. I'm going to try that out. Hello, did you already do the bow only run? D. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Chris, thanks for the four-month prime sub. Also, Rex, thanks for the brand new prime sub. I did not do the bow only run yet. That will happen when I have a bit more time. Okay, I guess, uh... See how this does here. It's, it's plus 12. Should be decent. We should get some okay bleed going, too. Hopefully. That's not bad at all. Whoa. What the fuck? It's, it's good, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? I thought, th dude, I thought this was supposed to be bad. We are plus 12. But, like, that's actually really good, though. Even considering we're plus twelve. Okay, well, I thought I thought this run was gonna be I thought it was gonna be really bad somehow, just based on what I saw. But Jesus, that's a lot of damage. Um, we'll go to Saint Bridge in a second. I want to get Blue Dancer. We'll go we'll go like kind of naked on this. Dang, that was actually really good right there. Like that was actually really good. Obviously, this is a decent build. Blood Flame Blade, Power Stance Bleed stuff. It's going to be decent. But, man. I just, I thought it was... We'll, we'll see until we get a bit later. Is that his market with plus 12? And, oh, wait, so you can't... Oh, I never thought about that. You can't actually buy spinning chain anywhere. Dang, that's... I really don't like some of the decisions they made with Ash of Wars. And I guess that's one of them. Especially there's no terrible weapon. Well, not weapon, but maybe weapon class. I think you could probably say that. Let me get the Beast Torch out. That's, that, that was really surprising to me right there. 
Because the we had two bleed procs and we were dealing high damage. So we were bleeding him just like crazy right there. Oh. Insane insane uh insane ray tracing like spike right there. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited about Starfield, so I'll probably I'll probably stream it, yeah. I'm at least gonna play it. But I'll probably stream it. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. 11 months? That's almost a year. <laughs> Why did it say it so weirdly? Uh, Ogre, thanks so much for the 11 month resub. Thanks so much, man. Okay, so we can't bleed this guy, but the damage, it's strike. And the damage was decent, so I see no reason why this wouldn't be good. We tried charge R2. And yeah, he's toast. And we can repost him. And the poise damage is clearly good. Anybody have any uh, poise damage numbers on this stuff? Hey, okay, bat, please die. 36.3. I w Interesting. I, I mean, that's pretty good. Okay, so now we have Blue Dancer Charm. Which... We will... How heavy are these things? Oh, they're actually pretty heavy, too. Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best nut ever. I li I didn't realize these pants look so cool. Alright, let's go kill Godric. <laughs> Mark, thanks for the brand new sub. Thanks so much, dude. 36. Is it... Okay, there is this voice spreadsheet that... There should be a link to it somewhere, but... Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best. 32 one handed 36, ever. two handed 39.6. Okay, so it, it's the same as hammers, then, I would assume, which is really good. Although, obviously, the, this Charger 2 is not as good as hammers. It's almost as if hammers had bleed. That's, that's how I'm thinking of this right now. If hammers had bleed and instead of a good Charger 2, they had, well, bleed, <laughs> then that's how I'm imagining this right now. Which is that's strong, dude. Uh, there is a spreadsheet with the weakness of the boss. If you do exclamation mark, I think res sheet. R e s s h e e t. Uh, Joe Asaki, thanks for the brand new prime stuff, dude. Carson jumping L one's twenty eight point eight poise. That's that's good. Maybe, maybe. That's pretty good, dude. I'll give you the best is that the same as hammer? Ever. I'm impressed with this so far. And it's strike damage, which means that, you know, when you think about it, there's some of the bosses that are immune to status. Strike is decent against them, such as the gargoyle, like all the gargoyle bosses. So, man, the flail's underrated as hell. Or maybe I'm just the one who thinks they're bad and they're actually, like, insane. It's probably more what it is. Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the uh, best nut ever. Sorry, I'm kind of busy. <laughs> thanks for the brand new Prime Sub. And Preter, thanks for the two month Prime Sub as well. Yeah, basically hammers with bleed and a bad charger too. This is basically what I'm thinking. But spinning chain is interesting though. Anybody know the poise damage on, on the actual follow up of spinning chain? Yeah, we definitely should get cold going. That'd be that'd be nice. At some point. I'm impressed so far. We've only out of the main boss, we've only killed Margaret though, so. I just I didn't think it was gonna melt him like that. But pants, these are the uh warrior greaves. It's the starting warrior armor. Like, they kinda look cool. I've never actually seen them like this, but I think uh boss boys bar should be visible. I think it would be cool if they if they had it sort of like in Sekiro, 
where you, you know, maybe you have the boss health bar at the bottom of the screen, but then you also see a poise meter there. I think that would have been cool. All right, here we go. Yeah, no, I do remember them buffing flails at some point. So that makes sense. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. This, this is going to be... There's no way this is going to be bad based on what I just saw on market, dude. It's going to bleed him like crazy. An actual solid damage per hit as well. I mean, dude. I didn't even get to do the, the follow-up because he died too fast. We'll return together wow. To our home. Only plus 12s. This is really good. I'm trying to think of back to the, the weapon request no hits with the somber we or the non-somber weapons. Where they were at at this point in the game. And th this is really good so far. With the bleed and the poise damage and the and the spinning chains actually good so far. Is it a long setup? Well, we kind of just did the normal smithing stone setup. Although I got I got the bell bearings. I got both the smithing stone bell bearings just simply because uh I'm probably gonna upgrade all of these, so I uh, use XLR hunter. Maybe maybe Yeah, it's possible. Like if there's a weird some weirdness happening, it could be a loose connection somewhere too. I've definitely had issues with that before. Which I could you know try to adjust if there's still things happening. Because I was moving a bunch of stuff around, it's certainly possible. I, I'll fix that. When, when I'm going up this elevator, I'll... Check everything. Okay, yeah, I'll check it out, Hunter. Is it is it is it the mic, or is it all the... Like, also the game? Oh, really? The audio's been... Oh, interesting. And that, like, the audio cutting out's a new thing, right? What's a good audio bit rate? number to be at here twitch recommends 128 but or 20 1 million i i don't know what okay i can try 192 also one one second you guys i'm just gonna make sure that nothing's like loose here one second Okay, hopefully I didn't just, like, ruin something. I imagine that that won't change anything, but just, just, I don't know. I haven't done that in a while, so. Gonna make sure everything's good. I remember I used to have issues where, you know, sometimes, a, like, a connection would be loose, and then, like, things would sound really bad. Okay, great rune. So, so I say now we probably want to kill Renala and then look into going to kill Estelle, probably. That's what I think we'll do. No, we're going to do right card. We're going to do right card. Also, the audio bit rate has been increased, so maybe that makes a difference too. Green screen broke. Yeah, it's, it's broken right now, apparently.
Favorite flail so far? I, I don't know. I think maybe the Knight Rider flail, but... It's because it does the most damage. But yeah, speaking of bingo, actually, I've, I've, I've been watching more people practice. I CBD... I haven't heard anybody talking about CB, CBD somehow. But... I mean, hasn't he just been, like, beating everybody? That's what I... I, I I've only seen little bits of it. But the smart, smart, small parts I've seen of people doing bingo practice, CBD's just beating everybody. So I, I don't know. Like maybe it's only those few, like maybe I saw a glimpse of a few matches where he ended up winning, but. I don't know, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good season, I think. CBD's the favorite. Really, I could see that though. To be again, the small amounts that I've seen so far, he's kind of been winning every time I've I've gone into his stream. So, and yeah, Dom's been improving a lot too. I, from what I've seen. Um, in CBD lose quite a few. Well, they've all lost a few though, right? I think they've all lost quite a few. I think based on um, the practice I did with Puppery the other day, last week, you know, if she keeps improving, I don't know how she's been doing against everybody else, but It's going to be close. That's that's what's going to be really interesting about it. Last season wasn't didn't really feel that close, but I think this time around it will be. Oh, Bushy on a 10 win streak, really? Okay, maybe cuz I thought I saw him practicing with CBD last week maybe and I could have sworn CBD was winning, but maybe Bushy came back. I, I don't know. All right. I'm for Red Wolf. I think they're all, again, based on the small amount I've seen, they're definitely all going to have to get quite a bit better to start beating somebody like Aggie, but I think they definitely can. Should get some nice bleed here, hopefully. I like that roll attack, actually. I don't like the standard L1. Okay, no bleed, because we killed the boss too quickly. I'm just, I'm, I'm... I'm surprised at the amount of damage these are doing. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best I'm very surprised at ever. that. Because I thought, nice. yeah, I thought they would be good at, you know, dealing like bleed and stuff, but... Luck. Not actually the, I wasn't expecting the damage, just the raw damage. We do have decent stats right now, but we also don't have any infusion. Blindstone wet blade. I guess we might as well go kill Ranala while we're here. She's, she's gonna get destroyed by this thing, hopefully. I wonder if it's gonna fully stun lock. Yeah, I, I would like to practice with Bushy, or just whoever wants to practice with me, but I, uh, I basically... Puppery asked me to practice again. I, I actually forgot to respond now that I think about it, but... Yeah, I told Bushy that I wouldn't be able to practice this week. So, it'll have to be next week then. And I guess I can always... You know, people are going to want to practice more during the season as well, so... I'll probably do some then, but I, I really got to focus on the stuff that I'm doing at this point too, so... I actually survived that. How many viewer requested runs? In terms of the channel point ones, a lot. Fucking okay, asshole, Moongrum. An asshole, dude. I forgot that Godric's Red Rune, by the way, but our build is so good, it doesn't even matter. 
actually just doesn't matter at all. Flail him? It's too late. <laughs> I've already left the elevator. I don't want to die to him. He's just going to roll out and poke me with his magic stick and kill me. Okay, so, um, how do we do this here? What, what, what do you guys think the odds are that this is going to one cycle her in phase one? It's got to be really high, right? I would actually be surprised if we don't get a one cycle here. Although, you know what? I should have just drank right there. 100%? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I want to buff. I want to drink. Okay, yeah, <laughs> very comfortable. Very comfortable one cycle. Now in this phase though, th like that's not gonna stun one. Yeah, no stun lock there. Oh, there's a stun though. <laughs> gonna be a bleed here. Yep. Dang. I did not think these were gonna be this good. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but I'm actually very surprised. It's totally destroy. I, I guess what, what's surprising to me is that I, I thought these were bad. I, I thought these were going to be the, you, you know, worse than whips. I thought these were the worst weapons in the game. But they're just, they're actually better than most things I've tried. I think. Uh, Bull Rush, by the way, thanks, thanks for the 7 month reset, dude. I, I don't know if I said, said thanks for that yet. I don't know what to level up even. I'm just, I'm kind of... So, so is it true though that I can't, I can't get spinning chain anywhere? So I, I can't infuse these things. That's so unfortunate. If that's true. Um. Yeah, I do need intelligence for Estelle's. I, I think I would also need it for the family heads too, right? I would love to put cold on this thing. Maybe we should go like this. And just, we can put golden vow on something else. I mean, th does this fell have, flail have anything special? I don't think so. We'll just go like that. Wild strikes? Yeah. I will need to go buy a bow. Because I, I don't know how to do this setup without aiming a bow. Yeah, well, 50 is the base blood loss, right? But Chilling Mist? You can try it. Oh, that'd be so good if I can, dude. That's gonna deal so much frost. I'm very impressed. Twenty-four int on the heads. Okay, yeah. Well, we're definitely going with sort of an overall quality build here. I would like to get some arcane as well, if I can fit it in somewhere. I'm I'm curious to go. We can go try killing the black blade kindred at some point. We can get a bunch of runes from that. Also, I just want to see how much damage we're dealing with, you know, strike-based weapons here. Poppy spinning chain with Lost Ash of War. I don't know. Does anybody know if you can? Because I would love to have Frost on this thing with spinning chain. But. Yeah, that's where we're going to get a Stealth fl uh, Flail right now. Yeah. So, oh, uh, that's... 
It's unfortunate. Running sections in this game are so easy. Yeah, they are. That's that's probably one of the things that this game's sort of missing compared to a normal Souls game. That you can just run through everything without really thinking about it. Yeah, Frozen Armament or... Yeah, I guess I could do that. Maybe they... Maybe they... That was a conscious decision by them to not... Wait, so I might as well start... I'll just... I'll just save the levels, I guess. I... I... Okay, uh, so the stats, you need 22 decks and you need 22 ints for Bastard Stars and Family Heads is 18, 16. So I guess I might as well start putting some levels into int. 22. It's C scaling and intelligence. We'll just put it in there for now. We might as well. It'll, it'll increase our cold infusion. I'm going to go pick this up because we're fighting Rykard and I might need some heals for him. So I'm just what I'm concerned about on Rykard is that we're going to be attacking him and the flail is just not going to hit because the spinning like spinning chain does not have a lot of range. So I don't know. Spinning chain just might not even work at all. So we're probably going to have to go with some sort of jump attack build. Okay, I, this Rikert's so unfortunate. I'll fight him, though. We might as well. Nice roll catch. Okay. So we can't bleed this enemy. Nor can we frost them. But this is where... Maybe, this is going to be a good demonstration of the poison in these things, probably. Ever. Morning, sir. Are you going to practice some more for Bingo League anytime soon? Whoa! Oh, that power stance hit. <laughs> Just jump, dude. Just jump attack all day long. Oh. That's crazy. Jump and then win. So yeah, this is a good jump attack build, and I guess... Um, where we get family heads is also where you get the jump attack chest piece. We could get the talisman as well, but... Not in any rush. Uh, Bazia, yeah, thanks for the 14-month resub. Um, we, I might do some practice next week, maybe. We will see. It's not even, it's not practice for me. It's, it's kind of like helping people practice, but yeah, maybe. Aster Stars, Ash of War, is, is it similar to, it's similar to, um, the Wing of Estelle, right? See if I can. Killing Mist. So that'll be nice to put on this thing. I don't really need Bloodhound set for anything. And Frozen Armament is, is just on the road over there, right? I guess I can grab that too. Unless I'm mixing it up. Not sure if we're actually going to use it, but I think that'll be a nice combo. I'm going to need a staff though. I actually really like that R2 on the horse, man. Maybe, maybe it's just very easy to hit stuff. I'll give you the best nut ever. Word, everyone. Gino. Hope you all are well. Elden Lau, thanks for the three-month resub. Thanks so much, dude. Yeah, I'll have to get a staff so that I can cast that, but... 
Yeah, so that'll be nice on Radagon. It'll be nice on... I don't know. And there's, I guess there's not many bosses where Frost is... I guess I can always swap mid-fight too, right? But I, I don't think it's going to be any issue proccing the, the Frost on a lot of the bosses. Okay, so we... I think I aim this... Man, I forget again. Is it here? This seems wrong, but I'm going to try it. Oh my god! I always dude, forget, even though I did so this last shit. run. I'm pretty sure. That is Yo, so uh, shit. Manx Mark, that thanks for the five gifted garbage. subs. Thanks so much, dude. Oh my god! Maybe it's maybe it's here where I aim. I would definitely seem too far to the right. Okay, that's right. And then here I aim. I think there. There we go. No problem. Maybe, maybe. This is a uh, this is a nice skip ever. if you don't want to go into Volcano Manor to get your somber seven. You can get the ones that are in here. There's like numerous. It's just it's it's just slower. The only problem. I actually will get both of the somber sevens too. I might as well. Unless we're going to go into Volcano Manor early. Maybe there's more than two, actually. Bingo legal? I don't know. I don't know when you would ever want to come down here, but... Four Somber Sevens? I think I only know two. I only know the one from this guy, and then... One that's just sitting in the lake. I'm sure there's more than one in the lake, though. Probably good against this clay, guys. There's a Somber 9 and a Stell. Well, apparently it wasn't allowed anyway, so. So how... Is there... I, I need to think of where I could get the sevens, because I could have killed the Estelle there, but if there's more, I'd rather just... That would kind of suck to kill the Estelle with this. Uh, Joffstar, by the way, thanks for the three-month primary sub. Thanks, dude. Not sure where the other sevens are. Up the stairs, there's one... Like, the first room here? Which direction is this guy facing? Oh, further up. Oh boy. Oh wait, do you mean the, the chest that's up here? I'll just go over here. I, it doesn't, I mean... We don't even need them yet anyway, so... This one's a nine here? Oh, this is the glove wart. Take a left before the elevator. Okay. One day I'll know all the item locations in the game, dude. One day. That day is not today. There's nothing over here, right? Please don't kill me. Oh. Is it in here? What is this place, dude? Just a room.
I actually have no idea where this is, you guys. Because this is the elevator. Oh, is, is it that item right there? Oh, look at that. That's an easy one. I wish I had known that before, because... Oh, boy. Probably would have picked that up on some runs. It's also nice to get a nice 40k rune pick up here, too. So, Estelle can be frostbited and bled, right? If I'm not mistaken. I, I guess... Do I... Let's swap this, I guess... So, you can just put, like, any Ash of Wars on these things, huh? That's really good. There's no doubt in my mind. These are better than whips at this point. There's almost no way they're not better. And do we really need to go with cold on this thing, though? It might be nice to have some magic damage, but... Killing Mist is already so much frost buildup, I might not need it. Uh... So maybe, chilling mist. Maybe I'll give you the best yeah, they're ever. better than whips already. I, I would What's say. Good, Gino and chat? I don't. I don't even need to go much further to to say that. Oh, is it immune to frost? Okay. Angry gamer, thanks for the 15 month primary sub. Thanks, dude. Whips weren't bad, but there's basically only one whip that's actually decent. I would say, maybe two. There's the the candlestick whip is very situational, but. It can be decent. Um, and then the Arumi is like by far the best one, I would say. But just in terms of, you know, proccing bleed, I would say these are better than whips overall. These are just faster. They also have poise damage and we have spinning chain. Um, they're just way more easy. They're easier to use. Yeah, not, not for PvP. PvP is probably different, but... All right, so we're going to go with the bleed on this fight. Uh, the braid was okay. But for sure, though, the damage... I don't remember exactly how optimized the build I was using for those was, but the damage wasn't amazing. Is there maybe, a somber maybe, 8 somewhere in here? I'll give you the best nut Is it that? Ever. Is that a somber 8 back here? I know there's there's one somewhere here, right? You can just get the one in Dragon Barrow, but I kind of need another one. Here we go. Tomahawks, thanks for the three-month resub. Thanks, dude. Ping issues broke the experience. Yeah, PvP in these games, you really have to be able to tolerate a lot of stuff for it to actually be enjoyable at all. Yeah, so I, I I would say basically the PvP and, and the Souls games is just bad. It, like, it's actually just bad, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun, though. Rot Grease. Got the 7 over here. And the 5 and 6. What? Which 5 and 6 did I get? Oh, we can, we can go to Old Altus Tunnel to get a 5 and 6, maybe. Just because I, I don't... I guess I could go to Volcano Manor since we're going there anyways, but... Area looks different with ray tracing, doesn't? I don't really, I'm not gonna lie, it looks kinda the same to me, but. I really like the colors in this area. I just, I wish the area was actually better. Instead of just a straight shot through the area and, and that's it. Yeah, that, that's true. If if the if 
you know, what was on the ground here was some lava that just killed you really fast, then, yeah, you'd probably have to take a bit more slowly. But since you have this rot trick, and since... You know, they, they made it the super strong rot so that you would be inclined to not just gun it through, but the way it works, you could just do it easily anyway, so... This area down here is definitely cooler. The actual lake itself is pretty underwhelming. But yeah, if it was a bunch of DS2 la lava that you had to navigate your way through, I think that would have been a lot more interesting. But it's not. Like the way it flops on my hip. That is true, the... They're very floppy. And I kind of like it. Probably You probably get some, like, insane bruises, though, from it hitting your leg all the time. Okay, here we go. Um, so we're going to go more bleed, I guess, here. We can't frost the boss. This should be good. You know, we're, we're going to get a poise break, and... I believe only one of the things hit me. Okay, what is that box? What is going on with that? Maybe, maybe I'll be the best nut ever. Love the content. Keep it up. Is it bleed? And I can actually repost with I did not get hit by that. You know, I don't really have a good reference point for this boss because we don't usually fight Estelle on these runs, so... I, don't, I do not have a good reference point at all. is kind of in the air. It's done, maybe? Fuck. And not so great so far. Because we haven't been able to get that stun. I should try the charger twos. I just <laughs> there's a bleed. There's a stun. It's just a little too late. I probably could have played that better, but not amazing. Okay, there we go. Go turn that in. Yeah, this time this one just happens when it's too late, but uh Yanni Depp, thanks for the three month prime resub, dude. I can't believe you can put Lion's Claw on a flail. Let's go to Miklos. I, I still don't believe that. I just I don't understand how that even makes sense, but maybe it does. What do I know, dude? Oh. I thought, dude, I thought that she gave you the... Oh, no, I killed... Okay, never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> I forgot that I killed uh, Renala already. Bastard Stars. I was going to say, I thought it was two great rune boss and not two remembrances, but it makes sense. Okay, this one looks so weird, but... Let's 
go upgrade it. And then, yeah, we're, we're also going to go um, get family heads as well. It looks so weird. I, I, I don't even know what it looks like, dude. It's like a elementary school project in science class. That's what it looks like to me, but... Pacifier on a stick. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. Uh, I haven't yet iced, but I think I got a few no-hit requests with it, so. <laughs> Literal anal beads. Not as bad as what's on the Estella boss, though. So maybe, we're maybe gonna get there's a the there's a five and a six ever. in here, right? Am I mistaken about that? I think there's two sixes. School science project on a stick. Yeah, that's kind of what I was saying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fredon, thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. I appreciate that. Surely I have. Oh, I actually do have stone swords. Wow. I didn't think I did. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Kinzoku, thanks for the three month resub as well. Thanks, dude. They're flailing DS3. Uh, there. There was not. that I can think of. Oh, well, oh, there was... There was Ariandel's thing, I guess. But that was, that was a like, a hammer, basically. Or it was actually a, a, a talisman. I thought. I, I don't know. That's probably the closest thing, because you kind of, like, whip yourself with it or something. I, I don't know. Yeah, the rose. Number six. Oh my god! Oh dude, shit, dude. That's so shit. Matt, thanks so much for the uh, 20 gifted so subs, man. Shit. That is insane. That is such uh, make sure you thank Matt if you got a sub right oh there, dude. Oh my god. Thanks so much, dude. Yeah, the strike damage is really nice to have on these things. So, the somber. There's a somber five over here. I'm mistaken. This is the five. There's, there, uh, there should only be one five in this area. Might as well collect the other I think stones while we're here. Yeah, thanks so much uh, again, Matt. Thanks, man. Okay, I guess we're fighting this guy. Very good weapons for a jump attack power stance build. This is actually a great place to come on these runs because we get so many smithing stone fives. I think there's some smithing stone sixes too. And we get the somber five and six as well. Seriously. I just exploded. Maybe, maybe. Please don't. The best not ever. Nineteen months. That is life. Something. Here we go. Hmm. I probably missed something in here somewhere, but I think that's good enough. We can we can go kill the boss because. Probably faster than fast traveling out of here. Bloody bastard, thanks for the 19 month resub as well. 
Welcome back. Uh, do I remember how to do this? The answer is yes. <laughs> Get the gem attack build? We could. We definitely can. Flail only? <laughs> well, I didn't say only. I said flail run. Except, I usually I don't even kill this guy. It's just... It's always, it's always fun when you get an opportunity to kill this guy with the exploding things. Uh, okay, so let's go... I don't know where. There's a, there's a number five there, but... Let's go upgrade it. And get it to plus... Oh, does it say flail only? Doesn't matter. <laughs> let's go here. I did kill him with the flail. But I also threw some rocks at him. I presume. Oh, I am an old crow, perhaps. And two. Whoops. I guess we're gonna need these anyway, so. I'm I'm looking forward to using this thing, dude. Plus nine. And then we'll get the Knight Rider Flail. We, we can get them both upgraded slightly. And then we're gonna go fight. Where are we gonna go fight? Oh yeah, the the annoying fucking guy. But we can also get Ritual Sword as well. Seen Lords of the Fallen? I have not seen anything about it now. I haven't really gone to look. To be fair. This will be a good place to try out that Flail, I guess, right? Nebula. So, Nebula is the same Ash of War as the Estelle, Wing of Estelle, so presumably. And I assume it's all magic damage too, so maybe we can get the magic tier and stuff to actually optimize it. Oh. Oh, wow, it's like a way cool... Dude! Oh, shit. It's like a way cooler version. Dang. Okay. That was kind of good. Plus nine, to be fair. Oh, okay. Um, Yeah, let's go into Garus now. That looks really cool. I, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about the... Like a much wider arc of... Of those explosives but it has an initial hit though which is better interesting yeah we might as well go get the magic build set up because we don't really need much else in our physic maybe the multi-hit stuff would be good with this build we can get that set up too just whenever i have slots and Unfortunately, the thorny tier is in Snowfield, so that's not going to be for a while. I'm for Gary. Yeah, slower cast, yeah. Although I think, I'm pretty sure the explosions hit, they hit at least twice on on uh, Gillica there, but maybe it was even three times. See new preview for Black Myth Wukong? I, I've seen people talk about it. I haven't actually seen it yet, though. I remember seeing a preview for it a long time ago. Maybe a few years ago. I'm going to try to spinning chain Gary. We'll see if it works on him. If not, we can just blast him with the wing. Oh, barely. Uh. I don't remember that illusory wall being so obvious. Black feathers. I, I, these don't look that good though. But wait, we're actually caring too much for blue dancer, anyways. I've just realized. So, I guess we're gonna go with that. Um, I guess we'll go with that too.
Okay, so will spinning chain just blast him? Also, you you can't... You can't... Yeah, I won't be able to chilling mist and blood flame blade. Uh, that's fine. Okay, please stun lock RS, dude. Dude, his snails didn't even get a chance to wake up, man. Hey. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I, I, was, I wasn't sure if that was actually going to stun lock him, but I guess it does. Well, we're just rolling every boss. So that's every flail in the game. Apparently. That's every single one. So... Let's go here. We're going to go pick up the Somber 5, I guess. Unless there's an easier one to get. I'm sure there's an easier one to get in that Bell Baron cave, but that's okay. Yeah, Gary still finds a way to hit me there, dude. What Ash of War on Family Heads? Uh, it's the weird familial ranker. I think it just shoots a bunch of skulls at you. I don't know if it's if it's good or not, but we're gonna try it. Went outside in the Oh, outside of the cave there? Or what what do you mean? Some situation with the Wukong dev? I can't remember. There might have been. Actually, now that you say that, I do remember there being something. I don't know if it was with them or not, but... I forget what they said, but it was some, like, insanely... I don't remember if it was, like, racist or if it was... I, I don't know what it was, but it was something. Or it was sexist. Yeah, it was something like that. But I, what, I don't know if that was actually them or not, so... I don't know. No idea. I guess I'll just get the Somber 5 out here. It would be funny, though, if, if that's true. It'd be hilarious if there's just, like, a whole... <laughs> whole bunch of, you know, women who just go to no-hit the game and just, like, destroy the game and stuff. Somber 5. Welcome back, Arm, dude. So, uh, yeah, we're we're on game four, I guess. So we'll, assuming I can finish this run in a timely manner, then we'll continue that today. Am I coming here? <laughs> yeah, nine hundred, nine thousand IQ play. Surely that's true. Family heads. We should have enough for the plus nine. Actually, really nice going to Lake of Rot and getting all the... Because there, there's a, additional... Oh, wait. I don't have a nine. Oh. Oh, no. Wait. I thought I... Oh, I didn't get the nine in Lake of Rot, dude. What am I even doing? Gotta go get the nine down here. I totally forgot. But yeah, with that sort of thing, though, I like I don't actually. I mean, not even gonna bother talking about it because I, I didn't do my own research on what they actually said or if it was like some because it was translated. I, I thought right, so it's like a Japanese developer. I, I have no idea what actually happened. So, pull out the nine. <laughs> okay, so we have to do this one last, right? Flail only hitless run. Dude, Flail's really good, man. I'm really surprised. Cause I, I just I thought they were so garbage, but yeah, I, I think I, I watched I watched Aziz use them on old patch. But I don't know 
Maybe his ease just his build sucked. <laughs> I don't know. But these are actually really good. I think better than most setups I've tried so far, actually. But no, they were they were buff. I do remember them getting buff at one point. And I think that's what we're seeing because these are totally legitimate and viable weapons so far. And I, I don't see it changing, right? Because they're not even just relying on the status. Status is a nice bonus, but their damage per hit isn't bad either. So yeah, we're going to go pick up the nine. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Please don't aggro, sir. Nice that we kind of have this all figured out now. I forget what, what what run we were doing last time, but we came down to Lake of Rot and I got all this stuff set up. All right, let's go to EG. Boogly Boogly, thanks for the four month uh, prime resub, dude. Yeah, we, we don't have crazy stats, although I did, you know, we got a bunch of runes early game and stuff, but, you know, with these types of runs where we're upgrading numerous weapons, it's kind of nice to have those early, the extra runes, maybe, just because we're wasting so many runes on upgrading everything, but, alright, so we got 2 plus 9s, 2 plus 13s, let's see what this Ash of War does here. Maybe, maybe this is sort of like a, a uh, what do you call that? death magic version of wait what are they doing maybe it's like a death magic version of the watchdog staff so zip song thanks for the two month primary so welcome back um so what have we done so far we've killed I guess we go into morgot now dark bead level <laughs> we will see I'm kind of curious about it. I should probably level up, but I don't even know what to level up at this point, so. It's bad. Yeah, I, I, I'm not hopeful about this, but. Who knows? Maybe it's good. In terms of the actual damage itself. Okay, so it's, it's a more physical-based flail than the bastard stars. Do, do these build up frost, by the way? Is there any frostbite build up on this Ash of War? Twenty-one poise damage. <laughs> There's no way it's for skull, but So maybe what I'll try to do then is I'll try to proc a frost and then we can try this these other whips out. In fact, maybe maybe I'll sneak behind them to do it. I'm gonna try to sneak behind them. Oh, and I didn't get the magic tier yet, so we're gonna have to do that at some point. A golden bow. Family heads. Oh, I thought that'd proc him right away. Oops. There's that frost. Oh my god, we're blasting him. That is so slow. <laughs> oh my god, it's slow. Drink again. I would like to try Nebula here if I can get an opportunity to.
How do I keep getting hit by that? Because I'm trying to menu while I'm doing stuff. Huh. Not terrible, I, I guess. Not great though. I was just I was trying to I was trying to use the Ash of Wars. I, I think this is maybe I guess it's okay since it's the only range option we have, but the damage certainly wasn't super impressive. Go to the deck to lift here. Let's go on decomposing. Yeah, it's it it's okay, I I guess. I wasn't I, I don't think that was a great test of it though. I think on the Avatar, definitely the Bastard Star should be good here. The so Brock Frost and then And then we'll try it and see how much damage it does. Because Frost of course gives that nice damage boost. Yeah, not sure how I feel about this though. It's kinda I don't know. It's really slow. Very slow. I guess I could get Howl, but I don't really need to optimize my damage that much. Does the Staff of Death boost Ash of War damage? I have no idea. Emily had as good uh, late game in scaling. Got decent deck scaling. All right, here we go. I guess I should actually use that from close range. I need to use Golden Bow, I kind of forgot. Instant Frost. Might die here. Definitely quite slow. But solid damage, though. And see, that time it hit it hit twice. So there's definitely some RNG, just like the Wing of Estelle. With how many times it can hit. It does seem to be a pretty... It's a pretty wide... Um, like I was mentioning earlier, it's sort of a wide swing you do. So... You, you kind of need to be like a really big boss to get the full effect of it. Okay, so let's put that in the Physic. I haven't been using the Charger 2s at all. And I, gu I guess we keep Strength, but... Maybe more Intelligence? I don't know. Strength is probably worse than Intelligence here. What do I level up? Do I go kind of equal in all these stats, or do I go more faith? Do I go bleed? I, I don't know what to do. There's a lot of there's kind of a lot of options here. Go arcane. Although I guess arcane's not really doing anything here. Dex and int, and a bit of strength maybe. I don't, I don't know. We can just go... We can just equalize all of them, maybe. Just go equal. That makes sense to me. Let's just do that. Yeah, 40, 40, 40. Definitely on this boss, though. Master Star should be the best. Oh my god, did I... Okay, I didn't mean to roll there. Imagine missing this elevator. Yeah, we probably don't need more vigor than, than this amount. I was just backstepped off. Let's go on uh, Genji. This is not Convergence Mod. Although, I, I've seen some really cool Convergence Mod stuff that I would love to try out. 
Um, it looks really cool. So I, I don't know when I'm going to try it out, but I would like to do it eventually. Maybe maybe next week we can do something. Try out the new patch, because I haven't played it in a while. I think they added a few new cool bosses that I saw. Should our last houseman slot be? Maybe the multi-hit could be good. Or jump attack could be good. Because, yeah, the, the so the power stance moveset here, the L1s are really bad. It's basically unusable. Um, the one-handed R1's fine. Not sure what else to go with there. I'm not getting Magic Scorpion. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to optimize this damage that much. Let's go kill this guy. I, I've, I've been liking killing this guy on runs because you just get a bunch of runes, so... Surely I'll get this off of time. Maybe, maybe I'm the best nut ever. See, it hit twice there. I mean, this is good. That's pretty damn strong, dude. Not bad. Nice 50k. Freakazoid, thanks for the three month primary sub. Thanks, dude. I don't want to rest, so I'll just fast travel because resting gets the big melon of dialogue. Couple leg spikes there. I wonder what that's from. From the, what do you call it? Ray tracing. Ray tracing lag spikes. When I'm actually doing runs, I'm probably not gonna play with ray tracing on. There's, I just, I don't really see the point. Doesn't make a huge difference. Claw Talisman. Well, we don't need Bleed Grease. We got Blood Flame Blade, but... We could... I mean, yeah, the Claw Talisman could be good. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, the, the jump attacks are very strong with this. So I could go grab that. You know what? I'll just go do it right now, since we're... Uh, the fastest way there... I guess you're here. Makes a huge difference. Well, yeah, on my previous setup, putting... I, the game was literally unplayable with ray tracing, but now it's... Since I got a 40-90, it's good. I haven't really seen any issues. There's been a few leg spikes, but that's just what happens when you're playing a Souls game. Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best nut ever. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, we're going up. Peso, thanks for the uh, brand new Prime Sub. Thanks, Peso. We are going up to get the Claw Talisman. Raptor's Feathers does for jump damage. Like, you're, you're asking about the percentage increase or what? Actually, not sure what the percentage increases. It's probably like 10% more damage, but. Billion dollar GPU for no difference ray chasing. Yeah, true. Actually, actually true. <laughs> yeah, 11.25. It's, it's weird how they go with the weird numbers in this game, man. Maybe I'm just not a, as... I guess I'll kill these guys first. I don't want to get blasted.
Wow, that's got some very significant range too, I guess. I really like this Ash of War. I think I like it better than the Wing of Estelle Nebula so far. Mainly because it has that extra hit at the start. Bot Talisman? Yeah, it was definitely better to go with this than the jump attack for now. Or, or not the jump attack, the... Charger 2, we haven't been using them, so... Yeah, 10%. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, 10%, and then the Claw Talisman is, what, 15? Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best nut ever. Not certain. So this is also strike. Yeah, so they're all strike damage, which... Isn't the end of the world, and it makes sense. Although maybe this... Chain Link could have been... Pierce. Maybe. Banana Man, thanks for the two-month Prime resub. Welcome back. No, stri Strike's not bad at all. It's just, it it's really nice to have different damage type options. Pickaxe, old Minecraft. What would be the Diamond Sword? It's the Diamond Sword of Elden Ring. So we can't use Frost, so... Clearly, I'm not getting chased in here. Let's try the heads at the start and see if I can actually <laughs> land any of these. Yo, okay, 14. That's not terrible. Went for a greedy R1 in there. I, I cannot believe that two and a half hours ago, I was like, yeah, we're going to do a flail run. And it's going to be so hard to do. Or not, not hard, but just I thought it was going to be so bad. Uh, what's the last talisman slot I go with? Should we should we go get the multi-hit talisman? I, I just I don't see what else makes sense here. We don't need the sore seal. I dude, I thought whips are gonna be better for sure, but it's because I saw Aziz do a whip uh, or like a flail run, and it was so bad. But that was before I guess they were buffed or something. Yeah, we already got the jump attack, Osman. So... We'll go here. But no, no, like, whips aren't bad, but they're definitely not as good as this. I think whips are probably... It could be the weakest weapon type in the game, potentially. Because I thought flails were, but they're obviously not. These are perfectly fine. It's just, the thing with whips and flails, though, is that you really don't have a lot of options compared to some other classes, but Flails just have so much more than Whips do in terms of Ash of Wars because you can just put almost anything on it. Um, maybe, maybe I'll give you the best Didn't use Ash ever. of War or Double <laughs> Flail. You didn't use any Ash of Wars? I guess that makes a bit more sense. Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best nut ever. And yeah, these are dealing yeah, poise damage. You got lots of Ash of Wars on them that are that you can put. I guess you, you can even put fucking Lion's Claw on a whip or on a, on a flail. I don't even see how, but you can. And so, yeah, there's a lot going for these things, dude. I, I didn't think they were good, but here we are. And they're actually very good. Uh, Yibo, thanks for the two-month resub, dude. I appreciate that. It would be cool to do... Yeah, I, I would like to eventually do... Um, I guess weapon class runs for all the weapon classes, right? I didn't actually think I was going to do that until I thought about how fun the whip run was. I wonder if this is just going to kill him outright. He's blocking. <laughs> the 
The new beast jaw. Wing sword insignia. Pretty simple. I don't know grace run. I, I would like to, but I haven't done one yet. I would like to do an all boss no grace run if that's... Well, obviously you can't do no graces, but... All bosses, l minimal graces would be cool. Uh, I think this leveling is good. A great flails. Is that a weapon that exists in real life? It has existed? Yeah, dagger only would be cool. With with some of the other weapon classes that have a lot more options, it'll be... I don't think it'll be as cool as some of these limited ones, just because, you know, most of these are... Well, I guess there's... Basically, the way I see this is there's kind of three... Three out of the five whips are unique, right? And I guess all of these are very similar in my in my mind. The only really difference about them is the numbers. These two are actually unique. Um, so so basically, the majority of these are unique, right? Is, is what I'm getting at. But with some of the other, like, I don't know if straight swords, you know, even though there might be more than five straight swords, which there probably are, they're not going to be... I don't know. There, there's a few special ones, I guess, but a lot of them are just the same. But maybe that's wrong. I guess there are some really cool straight swords. Sword of Night and Flame, and there's the Harry Knight Sword, and... I guess there's some cool ones, so... But yeah, I, I won't upgrade all of them, right? Like I've done on this run, I guess the only one I've kind of left behind is the other flail, but... I'm definitely not going to upgrade every straight sword, because a lot of the differences between them are just numbers. Okay, let's see how this does here. So what do you guys think? What what setup do I go with? I kind of want to try the more bleed focus setup. Like we used on, on market, but... Could use the Bastard Stars too. I just, I don't think it'll be as good on this guy. Even though we do have it at plus nine, so the damage is going to be higher. I want to go with the double status build, so that's what we're going to do. Um, we'll prioritize... Well, he's gonna get frosted so fast, so we'll go with bleed. I guess I didn't use golden bow. Torch only? Yeah, we could do a torch run, yeah. I think that would actually be cool. That's probably gonna be more what I was expecting of this run. In terms of actually being not very good. I can get some spinning chain going here. Look at that bleed. Just tank it, dude. Go on, let more got going his infinite combo. Just to bait out one attack. God damn it. I was like a fraction too early, and I don't normally do that, but I was I wanted to keep the bleed build up. Uh Mo okay, thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. Dead to Morgoth. Imagine if torches are actually good. Hmm. I don't think so, but I guess we'll see. There's the sleep torch, there's a frost torch. So there's at least frost going for it. I don't know what else there is. I don't think there's a bleed torch. Yeah, I don't normally roll into that AO AOE, so I kind of forgot the timing. I hate not fast rolling on some of these fights, man. Hmm. I 
tried a spinning weapon too early. Oh boy. I'm actually getting fucking dominated by Morgan right now. Somehow. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll go with Bastard Stars, because spinning chain's not really working so well here. Whoa, okay, that worked really well, actually. Dang. Yeah. Whoa, boy. Oh my god, dude. I didn't actually- how did I not realize that moved you so far forward this whole time? I didn't even notice that. Interesting. Not my favorite on this fight, but I just, I didn't really play it so well. Yeah, there was a lot happening on the screen right there. I'm sure Twitch's bitrate didn't like that so much. I like MMOs, yeah, I don't really have time to play much, MM many MMOs at this point, but I do like them. I've played them. Some of them. Uh, do you guys think that we should go to the snowfield first? Why not? Favorite MMO? Um, I honestly don't know. Probably the one I played the most is Star Wars Old Republic, but... I was actually thinking about New World the other day, and that was actually a really fun game. For a bit. While I was playing it. Whenever that was in... Is that 2021? What's up, Kamalesh? Gonna flail Millennia? Yeah, I'm not sure what's gonna be good on her. I, I imagine Bastard Star should be very good, right? Not sure about these other ones. Yeah, before the three-month break, yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, we'll get the thorny tier. That's probably the reason why I'm going to go there early. The 40 no-hit runs from charity or channel points? Uh, last year, they were from channel points. And this year, it's the same. Yeah, New World was really fun. I wonder if the people still play that game at this point. But yeah, I never played WoW. I never played, like... Some of the bigger ones, I guess. Spinning chain's good until he starts maybe, waterfall. Maybe really? Okay, so but spinning chain, ever. you can cancel out of it so fast that maybe it can work. We'll try it. Uh, menstrual mancer. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, brand new sub. How many months did we play New World? Um, I played for a, a, at least. Two and a half months, I think. Or maybe three months. I play the game a lot, honestly. Not sure how many hours I put into it, but it was it was like a decent amount. I'm sorry, buddy. Please Diagro. Here we go. I guess Warframe as well, right? It's sort of like a different game MMO, but still counts as an MMO, right? So I guess if that, like, it's sort of different, but I did play a lot of Warframe. Warframe, I definitely put more hours into than Swator. It's sort of it's different though. Um, ESO. The first time I played it was when uh, they sponsored me like a month ago for the expansion. 
I guarantee that if I got into ESO before I started streaming, I would have played it a shit ton, but I just never did. And I, uh, I don't have enough time to play a game like that right now, so. Yeah, Warframe's not too grindy for me. I, I, I do not mind games that are super grindy like that. I actually find it fun to do that. Play roguelikes? Not, not too often, I guess. The two that I immediately come to my mind is Hades and FTL. Those are probably the two I've played the most. Holy, you guys. A crash? Dang. I don't remember almost ever getting crashes in, uh... When, I don't remember ever getting crashes before. It's the it's the fucking what do you call it? Ray tracing, dude. That's insane. I don't know if I like I I don't know if I played any other rogue like besides those two. I'm not gonna lie, dude. But I I like them. I just I haven't played them a lot. Flailier, what a great name. Yeah, I need another forty ninety, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, and it puts me so far back. Yeah, but I'm not somebody who plays a lot of different types of games, though. I'm, I've always been somebody who, you know, I play one game, and I get I just stick to it for a really long time, usually. So that's why I haven't played a lot of different types, of, or a lot of different games. <laughs> yeah, cheat engine in the top left. We know Hunter's going to put that in the video, and... It's it's so funny that it's there's some ongoing meme that I I like cheat the runs and stuff. Kind of insane. It is funny though. Get more and more comments like yeah this guy cheats he used auto rolls and <laughs> he does all this stuff. I I should find that comment that somebody left the other day is is so funny. And it was real too because it was like somebody said it's like I'm starting to think this guy cheats and then. It was a reply. They're like, yeah, I'm pretty sure he uses auto rolling. That's why my rolls are good, even though... <laughs> even though... Flashback to last boss fight where I got blasted by Morgoth in the transition, but... But yeah, it's pretty funny. Imagine my game crashes again. Oh my god, that was insane. He actually jumped up and made it, but I blasted him off. Auto rolling actually exists. Not that I've seen. Um, there is there is an auto parry thing though. From I, I I assume it's in this table as well, but it's just it's like a funny thing to play around with in Dark Souls three. Like your your character just anytime it meets your hitbox, it's just a parry. So <laughs> like I don't know. That's the closest thing I can think of. But auto rolling. But then somebody somebody re replied to that when they're like. There's no way auto rolling would be useful because of how many like positional dodges that happen and stuff. I, I don't know. It's funny that somebody like numerous people have said something like that. that that's how you know you're like appealing to a much broader audience at this point. It's when you start getting accused of cheating like every single video. But yeah, it's it's, it's pretty funny. It's it, I, I don't know. I think it's interesting. It's interesting that the audience has expanded to that point now, dude. Because I don't know all the all the all the like old challenges I've done. Nobody's ever said like anything really, except for like you know the one random guy who comes along. It's like yeah, this guy, this guy's cheating for sure. But I, I I remember seeing it a lot on like the first no hit runs that people did in the games, like DS3 no hit and those runs where they like blow up on YouTube get 5 million views and there's a lot of casual players who just can't comprehend it but even this though these aren't even no hit runs right I'm just playing the game so that's kind of funny I think I'm playing the new Lords of the Fallen probably not probably not yeah all those game journalists dude
Yeah, then someone, someone was saying that I was like just inflating the amount of iframes I had or something because, you know, they were like, yeah, some of these rolls are definitely off. And he's getting those like <laughs> extra iframes and stuff. Like that one's actually more, that one's more realistic than an auto roll, at least. So I'll, I'll give him that. That one is more realistic. Iframe inflation, dude. Yeah, I just, I, I found the secret ADP stat in Elden Ring. And I actually have like 115 iframes on all my rolls. But no, this is, this is what happens when you play these games all day, every day, I guess, right? Like, as simple as that. I guess I could have killed this guy, but... Yeah, we got that 117 agility. Okay, we're also going to be able to get... These other flails a little bit upgraded. I'm not sure which my which one is my favorite to use so far, man. I mean, probably Bastard Stars, but... It's kind of hard to compare a plus 13 to a plus... Or a plus 13 smithing to a plus 9 somber. Let's go and fire, uh, fire smith. Ranny inflation? What, <laughs> what does that even mean? Did I Google it, dude? I don't even... I don't know what this... I see Canada's inflation rate. Is the first result. I like I actually don't even know what that could have been, to be honest. But <laughs> like what is what does that mean, dude? Yeah, Canada's insane inflation is what I saw. CTV article. I'm not I'm not putting in R34, dude. Almost as depressing as what I was searching. Almost, you think so? Like, I, I'm, I'm gonna even stop thinking about it. I just don't even understand what that could be, but... <laughs> so stupid. Okay, so we're three hours into this run. Sure, how much is going to be left? Well, not too much. Well, like a good two and a half hours remaining. Maybe three. Team Hitless rule, the 34th rule, in fact. Yeah, Team Hitless rule, 34, of course. In the rule book. Sounds actually really bad. Team Hitless, never mind. <laughs> does not sound good. Meanwhile, we are going to Commander Nial. We have not fought, fought Rikard yet. I'm honestly debating whether I should or not. I guess I will. But let's go on Josh. <laughs> Great timing. I'm certainly not in a rush to go fight Reichard. Yeah, he should get blasted. Yeah, we just need to get a stun. Uh, we'll go upgrade at this next grace, I guess. Nebula should be good. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to be good on him. Nebula should be decent, but maybe a combination of, you know, try to proc Frost and Bleed plus Nebula. No, we gotta do Rikard, dude. We have to. Maybe this will be the first run where Rikard's actually decent. <laughs> Maybe. Last back to this in like two hours when we're actually fighting him. 
and I'm just having the worst time of my life again, as as I do every single time I fight that boss. Oh, true, Aziz. Yeah, true. Yeah, good thing we got the multi-hit stuff. I would like to visit Snowfield. As soon as we go there, we're going to... We are going to... Oh, yeah. I'm going to spinning chain this guy. This idiot. Spinning chain is really good against NPCs, man. We all knew this already, but it's nice to see it work on some of these other guys, too. Okay. Maybe, maybe. It's cool armor I'll set. Give you the best nut ever. That armor set is actually so you strong, dude. So blue, blue, um, helmet, blue feather yeah. brand sword with that armor set is actually so stupid. Uh, not your dad. Thanks for the four month prime resub. Welcome back. Okay, so we're plus 13 on both. So 20 of those. 24 of these. Should be good. I'm not sure if it works on Gideon. I guess we're going to find out. I, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of NPCs, you need to be against a wall for it to work. Or uh, maybe that's not even true. Not sure. This one plus 19. This one plus 18. There we go. And also level up a little bit. Actually, you know what? I should I should really kill Godskin Duo before we go to Millennia. Unless I just pick up the rest of the upgrades. I suppose I could. Yeah, we should probably go kill Godskin Duo first. I guess we'll do that. Be in panic rolls. It, it looks like panic rolls, but his rolls are actually so good that they just look like panic rolls. 23 smithing eights. Yeah, that's a, a good point. Yep, the, the life of upgrading smithing stone weapons. Now, oh, would you go kill Godskin Duo? We might as well fight Millennia with a couple max out weapons just to get a good gauge of what it's actually like. <laughs> chi Tengen? No. No Chi Tengen for that. Chi Tengen is for the maps and for the farming. That's what it's for. What's the run? We're doing a flail only run, and there's only five. 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 <laughs> there's only five flails in the game. We're trying to use most of them. The only one I'm not really using is just the sacred or the standard flail because I just I these three are basically the same. The only difference between them is the numbers, so. Into that rise. You take the invisible bridge and then you take a left when you're about three quarters away up or like uh on the bridge, I guess. Eventually, I'll have used every weapon in the game once we continue uh, doing these weapon class only runs. But which flow is my favorite? Probably. That's tough. I don't know. Actually. Probably uh, the faster stars, I guess. Yeah, flails are not bad at all. They're, they're good, I would say. It's not a copium either. They're actually good so far. I imagine spinning chain should do some good work on fire giant too. And, and probably even bastard stars is good, so. And you know what? Maybe even maybe even family heads is good. A lot of AR on I guess because it's plus nine, but. Why am I not using that as my offhand? Because we can we can frostbite fire giant though. But this just has really good physical damage with magic damage thrown on top of it. In terms of just physical only AR, it's higher than or it's similar to the plus nineteen Knight Rider. 
This weapon only? Well, so, yeah, I, I, I've just been trying to use all the... You know, when I've done these runs so far, I've just tried to use all of them. At least at some point. Not sure, yeah, what... You know, fists... Just have some weapons. So, you have the spike cestus, and then you have the cestus, right? And then you have the iron balls, and you also have the starfish. So, there's not really reason to use the non-bleed versions of them. But... What other fists are there? Like, the cypher pata... Like, this only run would be fine. Even though I've used fist weapon... Or fist only weapon run would be fine. But I have used fist weapons a lot, so it's not a high priority one. But doing some of these other runs is cool because... I Like, I haven't used flails before. I, I haven't touched them. The only time I've used them is to try to kill Grail and cheese him. That's it. So... But yeah, I didn't, I didn't think they would be actually good, and they are. Yeah, Venomous Fang. Like, fist fist only, or fist weapons only could be cool. Especially if I just stay away from the ones I've used a lot. Like, the Star Fist and stuff. I think the Spike Cesses are really fun to use, too. And just the normal ones, I guess. Okay. Do I proc Frost, or do I just go all-out bleed here? Probably just all-out bleed. I should use Golden Bound. <laughs> Dude, it's doing some work here. Doing some work. Oh, I thought I got off my horse there. Is that stun? Wow. Stun him here. Surely I won't get one shot by one of these things here. Oh boy! I really do not like going in on that attack like that, man, but. Try the the heads. See if I can. Hmm. Okay, we'll try the bastard shards as well. That's good too. Dang. I, I, maybe I should have tried only Bastard Stars there so that I could get a stun, but... Pretty simple. Pretty simple. How long am I playing a stream? Probably going to be a while today. We're at least going to be finishing this run, and I would like to do some more God Run 3 practice after as well, so... Probably going to be a long one. I think every stream this week is going to be sort of a longer stream, probably. I'm, I'm impressed, man. All these are decent. Uh, here's our stats. So we're at... Six, I mean, we're at basically base endurance, but we have Godric's Great Rune. And then we also have 20 Vigor, which is 25 with Godric, so... There is a Grace and Fire Giant Arena, yeah. Not sure when it would be useful, for, but there is one. Okay, we continue leveling these all up equally. I'm so curious when they add the DLC, how many new weapons they're going to add in there. It would be awesome if they added a new weapon class as well, although... 
like they don't really do that. Okay. Ancestral infant's head, any percent? I think someone's already requested that, but when when we get around to doing all those run requests, if there's any duplicates, which there definitely are, I'll just like the person who requested it after I'll refund them the points and they can request something else. But yeah, somebody did request that. It sounds really bad, but they wall a whole weapon class. Well just if they if they added a new weapon class, then it, it, I don't think it would make sense to only have it in the DLC, especially if it's a later game area where you get there, you know, late in your playthrough, and then there's just a whole weapon type there that you can only use in the DLC, basically. So probably not. But almost for sure, what they'll do, what they'll do, is add more of the unique weapons in the classes, like. I expect weapons like the, you know, Sword of Night and Flame and those cool, unique, somber weapons. Probably some more Ash of Wars and all that stuff, so. A Madness Wet Blade? Hmm. That sounds like it'd be really broken in PvP. Just any weapon could have Madness on it with any Ash of War. Somehow don't think so. But yeah, imagine they release the DLC though and it's like two bosses and one area and that's it. How disappointing that would be. Like a, if it was just kind of a normal Dark Souls DLC size. I would actually be so disappointed. That'd be, that'd be just career ending for FromSoft if they did that. I imagine we're going to have zero issue with, issue with God's Can Duo on this. The bleed's going to be good. I think Bastard Star's going to be good. Obviously, I could just sleep them and make this trivial with the bleed, but I, I won't. I usually don't like sleeping them on these runs because it's more fun to just fight them straight up. Yeah, one, one it's like it's like the Ashes of Ariandel size DLC that they add. <laughs> yeah, it's a two Knights Cavalry. Do you fight the Knights Cavalry like big guy? That actually wouldn't be that. Like the Convergence boss. Knight Cavalry Commander. Okay, so what do we what do we go with here? Obviously frost is gonna be nice, but maybe just a jump attack set up with bleed. I might be able to use that at some points too, but let's prioritize frost at first. I still don't have a staff actually, I just realized. Let's not die instantly, maybe. No, I wonder if the heads go through the uh, the pillars. Maybe a stun eventually. I don't even know what I'm doing, you guys. <laughs> like, I'm just, <laughs> like, I'm being an idiot.
Not sure why I tried to jump on the pillar right there. The final rune arc. I'm not sure what I was trying right there. I was also expecting a stun somewhere in there, but I think we would have gotten a stun the hit that the noble just backed off. I usually prefer like slightly faster weapons for this too. There we go. Got my own spin. Why is he not summoning? Oh my god. I was so prepared to for him to summon and me just use frost there, but he just <laughs> he didn't even do it until he hit me. Okay, I want to try... I want to try Nebula. Curious if it has enough range through the pillars to connect. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. That did a lot of damage, though. Got both of them. I also want to try the heads too. Now, does that go through the pillars? It does not. It's unfortunate. That's probably too slow. Oh, I had no FB. <laughs> that sucks, dude. Would have gotten both of them. That was nice right there, man. That was pretty nice. Try the flail on this guy, maybe. Or the not the flail, the, the Knight Rider one. I wanna see if I can when he's doing his spins. Fuck. Oh, dude. I'm a little rusty on some of these timings apparently. direction on that one. Okay, there we go, I guess. I'm not sure what... I think... 
it's tougher to use like the kind of these slower weapons here. I guess I could have just done more R1s, but I did like the bastard stars there. I think that was cool. Okay. So we have one ancient dragon. There's another one up somewhere there. Please don't. There we go. Actually, don't quite remember where this one up here is. <laughs> the family. Uh. It's oh, it's way up there. I think. Whips better than flails on this fight. Um. It, it's it's actually tough because when you when you're not using sleep pots, everything is kind of similar because you're so restricted by what the boss does and how much you can actually attack them, but. I remember, I, I think Flails maybe are slightly better because we got more poise damage. Um, I was going to go up and get that. Fuck, dude, <laughs> it's kind of too late. Uh, we're going to fight. Yeah, I guess we might as well kill Plastic Sex and... and... Malekith. I was going to go kill Millennia and stuff, but... So, what are we at? We have one Ancient Dragon. So, we're going to need one more, which we can get from killing this dragon, I guess. We need a Somber. Well, actually, we need two Sombers, so... I wonder if the heads are any good at killing these birds. Maybe. Hey, it's not bad. It's bird section strat. It is nice having the range like this. Yeah, it's got great tracking. You know what? I guess that this flail does have a use. Sorta. It's the only ranged flail. Is that gonna go far enough? <laughs> wow, it's, it's it's useful for this at least. I guess just overall, if you just if you had enemies to kill, this would be a decent way to do it. Oh. Oh my god, it it circled back around and killed him and saved me? Wow. I didn't even see what happened there, but... Maybe That's what maybe it looked like. I'll give you the best nut ever. Oh boy. Please die. There we go. Yeah, it, it really does have good tracking. Uh, JK, thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. Ancestral infant's head any percent. Is that... I wonder how bad that actually is, man. I think I saw Josh doing a run with it and it looked horrible. But... <laughs> yeah, the auto roll. But I don't know. I wonder if all the normal buffs still affect it. I would assume so. Maybe. I don't even know, man. I assume it's not good.
But th does it actually does it deal decent damage? Because I'm just there's so many buffs you can stack in this game, especially yeah with magic damage with yeah Terra Magica, Magic Tear, Owl, all that good stuff. Yeah, you can kill the dragon. Yeah, it's only got a bit of HP, and I, you know, you get the ancient smithing stone. Okay, so we've got. Oh yeah, we have the bell bearing now, so we can get two plus twenty fives, and then we'll get probably the bastard stars to plus ten. I would assume. Seems to be the one I'm using the most. So we have a plus nineteen, right? And that's a little expensive. Oh, Elden Beast was a 30 minute fight. Okay. That's not great. That is not great. Stan and plus 25. Okay, so now we just got the family heads to upgrade, which isn't like super high priority but we'll go we'll go kill um I guess we'll go kill Placidus X right now I I don't know what the best like Nebula's got to be good there right gigantic boss we haven't really seen any stuns coming from it yet though I thought it was we were going to see more stuns from it Yeah, we can like frostbite him and then it just he's so resistant to all this stuff, but frozen armament or not frozen armament, chilling mist on a cold weapon should proc him r relatively fast. Uh, I haven't killed Niall yet, no. We'll go there after Malekith. And then yeah, we'll um Go kill Millennia, go kill Moog. I'm not sure if we're gonna do all remembrances on this. Just cause going to kill Fortisax is kinda We might as well. We've already killed Estelle. We're going to kill Rikard. I haven't killed Redan yet, I just realized. He's going to die so fast. And we kind of want to get closer up here. I will say that's salt. That's solid. That's really solid, dude. Twenty-seven hundred and one attack. Wow, I got I got hit by that, and he didn't get hit by my attack somehow. Ah, oh, dude, that's really annoying. I wonder if we should try to re-go for Frost here. Oh my goodness, dude. definitely quite inconsistent at hitting stuff. Like, 
very inconsistent. I, I was expecting it to hit more consistently on this fight, but... Hopefully we can get Frostbite here eventually. Oh, get stunned. Fucking bastard. Nice, dude. You should fly here, I think. Okay. Frostbite. Okay, well, I mean, not... Not amazing or anything, but not terrible. Okay, surely here. See, it only it only hit him once there. That's so surprising. I, I do wonder if there's like an optimal angle to shoot that at so it hits more often. Hmm. Okay, well there we go. No problem. Oh I never I don't know how many runes I had there. Definitely wasn't a lot. Maybe you have to, uh... I don't know. Maybe I gotta be at more of an angle. Or I guess, like, a, a steeper angle, maybe. There we go. Yeah, you want to be, if you want to punish him during the lasers, the easiest way to do it is to go to the edge of the arena where he gets blocked by the wall. But I think, so I, I did it sort of at a 90 degree angle to him there, but maybe I need to do it at sort of like a more acute angle. It's going to be the best here. I, spinning chain is, is kind of dropping off, I think, dude, a little bit. But it's still got the nice bleed and stuff. I'll go with the same setup here. Frostbite into magic hits. See how it does? He stands still, it should be. Yeah, see, there's a double hit. Oh, uh, no stun, that's unfortunate. Oh, there's the stun. Nice, dude. Yeah, he, he's just dead, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, man, that blasted him. Dang. I guess I, I was saying that I like this nebula over the other one because it had an extra hit, but I'm not... I, I think it just it depends on what you're fighting. Depends on what you're fighting, but that was really like that just made quick work of him, though. Chosen Angel, thanks for the two month resub, dude. Quick work of him. Yeah, the wing can be spammed faster. I'll give you the best. Um, like I, I think maybe against mobs, this is better because you actually have an initial hit, and so it can stun them into the combo. But then when it comes to big bosses, and probably just bosses overall, I think probably the other one is better, the wing. So, yeah, that, that's that's probably what I've gathered from this. So this is definitely still a really decent weapon, though. A wing of a cell is just a pickup in the Angel River. Chosen Angel. Thanks for the uh, two-month resub, dude. Or, I don't know if I just said that or not, but thanks anyways. And Striker, thanks for the brand new prompt sub. Thanks, you guys. 
Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. It's fine. Nothing wrong with a double thank you. I do think this build probably started out stronger than it is right now. It's still, I mean, it's still really good though. But it's, it's not doing anything super special right now, I think. At this point, I was I was expecting more stuns out of the the bastard stars, but I don't. First of all, I don't know the poise damage. I just assumed it was kind of like the wing of Estelle, but then it just it's very inconsistent that hitting stuff. So it's not really stunning as much as I hoped it would. Okay then. Um. So let's go. Let's go kill Commander. Niall, I think. Oh, you love to see it, uh, Chosen Angel. I appreciate that, dude. <laughs> yeah, on, on, on Gideon, hopefully he just gets totally blasted by this, but... Maybe this fight, too. This fight, too, should be good if we can get that... Um, either a stun or that long cooldown he has. I'm going to try the skip. I hit it first try last time, but... Uh, is it this rock here? Oh my god, dude. Wait, did I... Wow. Easy. It's usually... There's a point at which I practiced all these skips, but I forget them mostly now, but I guess not this one. I'll still go pick up the grace, though. Because if I died, it'd be very unfortunate if I had to run all the way back. Presumably, you can't put seppuku on a flail, right? Because I'm already surprised that you can put lion's claw on one. But you, you, you can't put seppuku on a flail, right? Obviously. Right? <laughs> I knew you could. So, I think on the, on the knights, probably... Let's try the family heads, actually. Family heads on the knights could be decent. I wonder if it's got good guard break damage. Not poise damage, but just good. Like, you know, ripping through their shields or something. Probably should have done it on this one first. Please don't. Oh. Wait, does it like maybe, form into maybe. a big head or something? Best not ever. Why people blank? Is that what it does? Also, we're dealing some significant maybe, maybe. damage right now. I'll give you the best not ever. Okay, let's go with the uh, the bleed. I wasn't actually sure if you could jump over that, but I wanted to try it. Okay, here we go. We got a nice little bleed in there, too. Okay, so now this is where spinning chain should be nice. <laughs> oh, I... Oh! Okay. So that's how that goes, I guess. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I ran out of stamina. And then a perfect bleed proc at the end, dude. Jesus. Wow. Wow. I did not expect that. Yeah, <laughs> accidental kill. I probably had time to repost him even. Dang, that was a really fast, <laughs> that was a really fast kill. Jesus. Okay. Into Snowfield we go, I guess. Uh, Snickety, thanks for the three month resub and 
Toon, uh, Toon the Boon. Thanks for the uh, brand new Prime stuff, dude. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was impressive. That was impressive. Man. So we're going to go get the thorny crack tier as well. Because we might as well. So right now I just have the I have the strength, which isn't really doing that much for us, so. Yeah, flails are, are really decent, dude. I'm impressed. It's always fun when you when you uh when you have this like perception of a weapon that it's just it's not gonna be good, and then it turns out to be really good. And it happens a lot somehow. It seems to happen a lot. Didn't need this grace, but I'll get it anyways. Wonder how the fog looks on the 4090. Looks the same. Who would have thought? Anything it's actually denser. <laughs> I don't know. The high quality settings. Oh, you a bad weapon? Um Probably the worst weapon I've used is Vari's Bouquet. That thing is horrible. Probably the worst weapon I've ever used in the game. Yeah, that thing is horrible. I remember during the uh, big marathon I did, we did a, you know, max new game cycle run with it. And now I haven't learned how to fight the, you mean that, the, like the mega bear? I have not. Yeah, we did a run with it during a big marathon because someone requested it. And honestly, on so some fights it was fine. Like on Fire Giant, it was no problem because you got the bleed. But once you get to... Once you get to Elden Beast, that Elden Beast fight was so long. And yeah, anywhere where you can't use bleed, it's really bad. I had a 3070 before, uh, Ultra Chad. And more cursor is really bad. Is it? Is it bad? Oh, dude, when did the timer stop? What the hell? Oh my god, life split crashed. A 318.35. Does anybody know how long ago that crashed? I can give an accurate timing. You know what? Actually, now that I now that I see that, I do remember that live split on this PC had issues. Two minutes. Okay, so we'll say we'll just it was like three eighteen, right? I already forget the number. We'll say three twenty. Oh, it was a long time ago. Seriously. Oh shit. Okay, well, you know what? That makes up for. Whoa. That makes up for when I was, like, not playing the game for 20 minutes. Oh, God. Fucking poked out wolf. Oh, since Godskin duo. Well, Hunter's gonna have to edit that, <laughs> I guess. I guess it's not that important, but... People are just gonna be wondering, oh, why the hell is the timer not moving? It's all good. It's going Big T. All right, for the avatar, um, I bet we don't have any fire damage on the setup. I guess I could uh, put a fire. I wish I could go fire spinning chain, dude. Unfortunate. But yeah, we'll go. We'll go. Um, we'll go frost. We can try family heads out on the opening too. I guess what's nice about this is I can I can probably stack a good you know three of these before they hit an enemy. Especially if I was a bit further away. Like these man. That is decent.
I guess I don't really do a lot of poise damage, though. Oh my god. It's actually decent. Dang. Yeah, Terra Magica with this, plus I didn't even use Golden Vow there. Oh my god, dude. Everything's just way better than I'm thinking it is. Maybe it's just the way Alden Ring's balanced, you know? Maybe that's what it is. It's not everything's good. It's just everything's average, but the average is very high. That's probably what it is. Okay, let's put that in there. Thorny crack tier. We'll go to Moog first. Yeah, maybe everything's bad. But no, I guess the, the bar though... Kind of like the, the low bar in Elden Ring is very high up. In terms of like the actual not great weapons. Obviously there's the meme weapons. That I wouldn't even think about, but... Even the weapons that are subpar are still actually perfectly reasonable at killing stuff. Which is, which is good. I think it's better that way than having... You know... Having like it is in DS3 where kind of... Most things just aren't that good. It's all relative to the boss's HP, right? And in this game, just... Even things that deal not a lot of damage relative to other stuff is still dealing a decent amount of damage compared to the boss's health bar. Exactly. Most things are in Cell Sword Twin Blades in DS3. Yeah. And this is kind of more similar to... In, in DS2, it was kind of the same as this. Or it's similar. Maybe it's even more balanced in this game because of how many options you have, but just any weapon in DS2 could be made good. In this game, it's similar. Jump off, buddy. There you go. So this has got to be really good on... on Moog. I would assume. Especially if we can get a stun somewhere. I could go get the shackle, but I don't think there's a need. Am I running? Well, near sword in DS3. Yeah, a lot of the weapons are just not good in DS3. Which is fine. Is if if all the weapons are like kind of balanced with each other, then that's fine. But there's some weapons in DS3 that are just so much better. But yeah, I prefer like this, where everything can be. Almost everything can be good, except for the total meme weapons that are basically made to be really bad. Uh, Shackle for Moog is in the sewers. It's actually really easy to go get. I mean, we could, we could try the Shackle. It's just, that's kind of... It's hard to overkill. And I like just fighting Moog straight up, but we could, and it, it, you're probably right. It probably would just kill him straight up. Don't I think Dark Souls is the most balanced, or the most weapon balanced game of the Souls trilogy? I don't, I don't think so. No, I definitely don't think so. Because, because one of the considerations, at least in my mind, when it comes to weapon balance, is how you actually upgrade them. And man, Dark Souls one. If you're upgrading normal, normal Titanite Knight weapons in Dark Souls 1, it's a pain in the ass compared to, you know, just picking up your your Crystal Halberd or not to mention the Black Knight weapons that are insane too. So, oh, DS2. Oh, yeah, no, I think DS2 is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think DS2 is just simply because of how, the way you get damage in, the, in that game, you can put spell buffs on, on basically any weapon. I, I can't think of a weapon that you can't put a spell buff on in that game. Including infused weapons and boss weapons, right? So that kind of equalizes all the weapons a bit more. So you can you can go ahead and put your infusion on it, and then also stack on another magic buff on top. That's like super low requirement, like dark weapon, for example. And just you know, just like that, you're going to be dealing a ton of damage. Not to mention Flynn's ring. And like I, I just think everything in DS2 can be made good. And there's things that are definitely like slightly better. But but yeah. This game is close, too, I think. I think there's a lot of good things in this game. Although the, the upper end is crazy strong, right? When you got your Star Fist and weapons dealing that much damage per hit. But kind of the rest of the game is pretty good. 
Do I even bother with Frostbite here? I think I will. I think I'm going to try to Frost proc him, and then I'm going to rebuff. I would love to see this one cycling him. Being able to buff infused weapons, having power stance. Oh, 100%. And, and DS3 messed up with that big time by making it so that infused weapons are just... Like, they're good in PvP, but in PvE, it's just... They're really just not good. They're always going to be worse than just going with, like, a physical infusion and then putting some sort of sort of buff on top. Which I don't like. Moog's not weak to Frost, no. He's actually pretty resistant to it, but he can be proc. I'm going to try to do that before I start bleeding him. Because I would love to see this one cycle. I'm not sure if it will. But doing Frost first will give us the best chance of actually doing it. There it is. And now I need to drink. And now if I could stun him. Wow, that's a really slow rolling attack, actually. I thought that would easily be fast enough on that. Why did I do it again? No! Oh my god, the hitbox, dude. Oh, it would have easily killed him. That is so... That is so disappointing, dude. Oh. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, Moog Phase 2 is fun, though, but... It just I was hoping to see a... Nice little Phase 1 Moog kill there. We are robbed of. Fuck. Wow. The coming of our this is... Uh, th th dude, the flails are really good. <laughs> That's crazy. If I had... Dude, if I had reposted them, then I easily would have one cycle them. I, I don't know why I didn't, but... Actually, maybe... I, I don't know. It's hard to say. The flails are nice, dude. Already access DLC? Well... Maybe when it comes out, but... Did we go equal? Oh yeah, Blood Flame does cancel a Frostbite. That, I actually didn't even think about that. Okay, I'm gonna skip the whole part where we try this skip and I miss it. Although it's kind of tempting to try it, but... I'm just gonna skip that whole part where I failed the skip a bunch of times. I should have like actually practiced the skip, man. Again. Okay, so. Did I mess up here? Or did I just not see the footprint somehow? Yeah, we're going to skip the skip by doing it properly. The ray tracing, yeah, dude. The ray tracing making me not see the footsteps. No, I just, I want to save my own time by not doing the skip. This area also really isn't that bad. The skip is way worse. 
Although I say that, now I'm gonna get like blasted by this enemy. Let's um, let's do the Knight Rider. These guys immune to bleed? Blue silver male hood. Was I- did I proc any bleed in there? I, I didn't notice a big chunk of HP going away, but... Yeah, honestly, running through that section like that is pretty simple. Just gotta roll like twice. take this pathing. I'm sure that there's probably a better way of doing this section, but this I've kind of always done for no hit. Yeah, maybe I did. I just, I didn't notice it. Recommend DS2 for non-patient players? <laughs> um, probably not, I guess. I don't know. Never been asked that before. But in DS2 for sure, a lot of you have to be more um kind of have to more meticulously go through the areas. You're not gonna be able to just gun it through, right? So or else you're gonna get totally blasted. And DS2 rewards that big time. It rewards having multiple wow. This place looks nice with the up graphics and, and the cool sky and stuff. Never really carefully looked. Hey, Grace, hello. But yeah, no, like, when you're playing DS2, it, it makes... DS2 is probably the easiest game to upgrade numerous weapons in, in my opinion. Like, there's so many weapon pickups you get, not to mention each, each type of stone you only need uh, six of. And, so, and, and like infusions can be accessed very early as well. So it's probably the easiest to upgrade numerous weapons in that game. And, and that's kind of what you're meant to do. At least I think. Upgrade a bunch of weapons, use range to get through areas. And we're just like kind of slowly kill the enemies in the areas. You also get rewarded by killing enemies. You know, if you kill them, I think it's 13 times. Maybe it's 12. I can't remember exactly, but you can despawn the enemies as well. Make like boss runbacks easier and stuff. So it's different. It's not like DS3 or DS1 where you, you just gun it to the boss every time and that's it. Isn't that to prevent farming? Um, I don't think so. Because if you, if you need to farm something, you just go in Covenant Champions, right? Worth. Dude, this damage per hit. Oh, you're alive. This damage per hit is decent too, man. The power stance jump attack build. Yeah, if you need to farm something, you just go in Covenant Champions. I highly doubt they did that to prevent farming. Because it just doesn't do that. I wonder if it's better on the... Wow, this area looks way better, you guys, with the, the higher graphics and the ray tracing. Not sure if I'm just... I'm looking around more here, but... You guys... Do you guys notice that? I feel like I'm noticing it. I think I should have put... I think I should have put Bloodhound Step on something. Maybe this one. Although I've been using Golden Vow, I guess. Got some runes to spend. 
Dude, I'm, I'm pretty excited for Starfield, man. I, I usually don't get too excited about games. But I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Hopefully it's decent. Let's put Bloodhound step on something. What do I put it on, though? Let's just put it on some random thing. Yeah, Executioner Sword can deal a lot of damage with the right setup. So many dollar base games. Well, I feel like that's almost standard, isn't it, at this point? Oh, Bethesda, uh, Starfield has Bethesda weirdness. I don't think you have to hope <laughs> about that. I'd be surprised if it didn't. With such a huge project like that, there's almost no way. Yeah, maybe I'm just thinking in Canadian dollars. You probably mean US dollars, I would assume. Um, What are we thinking on this boss, dude? We can try the heads a bit more. Cross and bleed should be fine. Yeah, Canadian mo Monopoly money, dude. Oh. Oh my god. The, the god tier RNG to actually be able to get spinning chain off right there. Oh my god. We're just getting like the miracle RNG. Dude, it totally destroyed her. Wow. That is insane. She basically got one attack off right there. I We just also got god tier RNG right there. So that does help. Holy shit, dude. I can't believe I thought these were- I, I just- I can't believe I thought these were gonna be bad. God tier flail weapon class. Yeah, no, you definitely don't want to be going with a charge R2 build on these things. But even then, it's- it's not a good R2, but it's not atrocious either. It, it can be usable- usable, but you- you're better off just going with jump attacks or something. Which is what we've gone with on this one. Jump attacks plus Ash of War. Seems to be doing the trick. Yeah, there, there's literally zero doubt that these are better than whips at this point. Albert's run? Oh, yeah, I, I would like to do a uh, weapon class run for all the weapon classes, ideally. Millennia kills me for two hours? Well, probably not, since this is probably just like a normal weapon. I do want to try spinning chain on her, though. So I might die a few times testing that out. Treasure 2 at least stamina efficient? It, I, I don't know. I, I I think I've used it like once. Well, no, it's it's not that it's not that the whips are bad in this game. I I don't. I think overall they're not bad. It's just they're not as good as this, right? And some of the whips I would say are not good. Some of them, but there, there's the Arumi, there's the candlestick. I'd say those ones are pretty good. Those are probably the two best ones, because they have a, you know, the Arumi just overall is the best whip, I think. And it has decent damage and all that, but then the uh, the Candlestick has some pretty niche uses that make it pretty good. On big stationary bosses, it's, it's decent. But yeah, flails are, are just way more versatile, I think, because you, you have access to so many more Ashes of War on them. And, uh... That's probably the main thing. I think they're just better at dealing status as well, because they're faster. Basic whip, not category? I mean, I guess so, but... I'm sure the... Just the standard flail would be doing kind of the same thing.
The only difference with this thing is just the numbers, right? Anyone request a Guts Greatsword run? I don't think so, but I'll probably do a, a Greatsword. Again, I, I would like to do this run with all the weapon classes at some point. I think that'd be fun. So... I will eventually do something like that. I'm not sure how many unique ultras there are. I guess there's there's quite a few. They're colossal swords, they're called. Oh, nice rot resistance. How many days did the fist run take? Uh, You know, I don't remember. Not sure how many streams it would have taken. Probably like six. Six streams, is that? Maybe eight. Like six to eight streams, somewhere in there. Why is Greatsword not a Greatsword? That is a good question. <laughs> I don't know. Just, yeah, Greatsword has always been an Ultra. Godfrey with one basic flail only. Yeah, I, no, that, I, that makes sense. That definitely makes sense. But in this game, you have so many options that I think it's not like a good, uh, well, they, I'm dead probably. Oh, that was insanely lucky. But yeah, in this game, you have so many options that to like actually properly test a weapon category, at least I think I think doing it this way is fine. I definitely though the you know there is sort of a gray area with certain Ash of Wars, right? Like if I just if I put Lion's Claw on this thing and then just used it on everything, like you know that'd be good because the Ash of War is good. But it's it's sort of it's debatable I don't know. In in this case, we're just using like the basic Ash of Wars on this stuff. We're not even swapping them for the most part, and it's still great, so. All right, time for Millennia. We're, I guess we'll try Spinning Chain. I'll try all of this stuff. Maybe... Yeah, we could even try Family Heads. That's probably going to work out. Let us try it. Uh, we'll start with... We'll start with Spinning Chain, I guess. I wouldn't mind getting a Frostbite off. But... Is this actually going to stun her? Oh my god, that's so much damage. Dude. Oh, and I love when my attacks actually stun her every hit, too. Holy. <laughs> okay, let's try. He's probably going to waterfowl here. Okay. Hmm. Like, Spinning Chain doesn't really do anything. Oh my god, though. Look look what you can do. <laughs> That's crazy. Spinning Chain is so good because you can just roll immediately. Okay, let's try... Let's try some Frost here. I was going to try the Heads, but we killed it too quickly. And 1,400 damage is, is solid. <laughs> Just getting absolutely bullied here. Such a bad roll to this game. Goodbye. Your strength 
Dude. <laughs> How many times can I get, get so surprised in one run? That was beautiful. And the style finish as well. Wow. Okay, then. So, who should we go to next? Because we, we still have quite a few bosses to go kill. I guess let's go do Redan now. I think that's reasonable. Go from Fort Faroth, I guess. Yeah, she got she got totally blasted. Right card last? No, we can't do we cannot do right card last. Because we, we have to end the, the run on a on a good note, on a positive note. And fighting Rikard I know will be bad, so. So yeah, not gonna end with that boss. Obviously, Redan's going to get totally destroyed here. I don't know if there's a need to fight Moose, though, in, in Ordisax. I, I just, I don't think there's any need to do that. You know, there's certain builds where I, I feel like it'll actually... There's actually a, a, a point in fighting some of those bosses because we have a, a setup that could be strong on them. But in the case of these, it, it's going to be fine on those fights, but I just... It's not going to be anything special, I don't think. Oh, yeah, I guess lay boys. Yeah, the, the family heads should be good on them. So, yeah, maybe we can try it. But there was some run I was doing... What was the run? I guess maybe the faith-only run. Fighting some of those extra bosses was cool because I could try certain spells on them. Like, I remember faith-only trying... All those fire spells on, on Moose and, you know, pest threads on Fortisax and stuff. We'll do it. We might as well. We're kind of flying through this anyway, so. I don't think I'm going to fight you. Yeah, the problem with Fortisax is that you got to run... And do... Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Dude, <laughs> Deathbird trying to kill me. You got to run all the way to the study maybe, hall or maybe. whatever that's called. The power oh, and... Not ever. Got to do the Rani quest line, all that dialogue. Finger Slayer Blade. There's just, It takes so much time for one boss that is literally the worst Remembrance boss in the game. You know? So much time for just that. But we can go kill Fia's champions, though. And we might, you know what, if we're going to go do that, we might as well. The boss too. It's also the only reason we got to go down to deep root, right? Is because of Fortisac. So there's so much running. It's the only reason why we have to kill gargoyles or, you know, sewer mode. All for one boss fight. All for one boss fight. Kings Nova, thanks for a gift note of sub. Thanks much, uh, Nova. But so yeah, that's that's what's unfortunate about Fortis Axe. Two hundred runes short. How's it going, Duncan? Alright, what do I do here? Maybe family heads as he's approaching and then just blast him with... Maybe, maybe... Okay, you know what? Let's use Bastard Stars. Ever. Surely this will be the first yeah, time we get a stun with that. I'm not lying when I say when I get bored, I put on your all bosses no hit run. I just ran, ran the wrong way. Times all the way through. Lamau. Jesus. <laughs> Nova, I appreciate that, dude. Dang, that's some... That's some commitment. It's like a 10-hour run. Thanks, dude. Yeah, thanks for the, the five-month resub. Yeah, he's got 200 poise, but... Yeah, he might just die before we can get it off. We will see. I really hope not.
Also, imagine just even just going with the flail, putting on a rot grease on there, or whoops, I've messed this up here. It, it would be very good for just putting standard greases on it. Be a very good combo. He's gonna die long before we stun him here. <laughs> Jesus, man. Just melted. Totally melted. Yeah, we, <laughs> we do we do too much damage to stun anything. Almost. Especially someone with 200 poise. Yep. OG Flail from Limgraves, how you beat your first playthrough. If you did that first playthrough before they were buffed, then that would have been pretty rough, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, we killed Alexander. Um, all right, so let's go. Do we do Rikard now? I guess so. How should we get to Volcano Manor? It's probably... Probably the death is the fastest, but I don't really want to lose a rune arc, so. Where should I get there? Honestly, it's by far the fastest, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go through here. I don't I don't have a grace near Rhea, so. Just spend these runes as well. I don't have another rune arc, but how I, like how badly do I need a rune arc here? Not very badly. Which boss has the highest poise? The highest actual poise number is Redan, but even Fortistax has more effective poise. So. So yeah, you're gonna have a much easier time trying to stun Redan compared to Fortistax. Why, wait, does the the twig doesn't affect the rune arc, right? It's only the runes. I don't really need to save these runes. Oh my god, it it prevents. Her. Oh my god, seriously? Okay, I'll, I'll go get him. Yeah, only runes. Okay, well now I have to try it, as people said. But I would assume it's only runes. But again, I'll try it. Dude, insane minus like two minutes. Because <laughs> I don't think this is going to work, but I guess I saved my 70k runes. At least some people will be happy that I'm not just getting rid of all these. Uh, Irish Bub, welcome back. Yeah, I think what we'll do, you guys, we'll finish up this run. So how many bots we got? We got one, or sorry. One Remembrance boss there, and then Fortisax, which will take a good 20 minutes, and then we got Moose. Basically three, and then we got to beat the game. So there's still probably a good hour this run left. But after that, I'll probably go get a snack or something, and then... And then we will do some God Run 3, I guess. Unless... Maybe we should save that for tomorrow so that I, you know, if if I do end up no-hitting Bloodborne. We'll have to see how the timings work out, I guess. As I expected. Only runes. That's, I mean, it's still fine. We saved 70k. Just, we're, we're already a pretty high level, so we don't really need more runes at this point. 
Uh, I did kill Millennia, yeah. She got totally destroyed. Take the stream. Yeah, this this will probably turn into a YouTube video relatively soon. Like, uh, so Hunter, my editor's going on a break. So this is going to be one of the runs that kind of comes out. Like a scheduled release, I guess. Usually we don't do that. But. Maybe I should have gotten the grace in the building there, but. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. If, if we... If, if I do know it, Bloodborne, doing those other three games are, yeah, it's going to be a while, so there's no way I'd be able to finish it today anyway. So, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe we'll leave it for tomorrow. I think that makes more sense. What do we go with here, I wonder? She's going to die so fast, it doesn't even matter. And it's, it's crazy. Whoops. Oh. It's crazy how fast you can roll out of that. I think that's that's what makes spinning chains so good. Is you can just roll out of it whenever you want to. And so you just do this. Oh my god. Spinning chain is so good. I never would have thought spinning chain was that good, man, but it is. Just being able to being able to roll out of it like that is just crazy. Yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna say people were suggesting wild strikes at the start of this, but I think wild strikes would be nice for the range. But man, being able to roll out a spinning chain like that, very strong. Okay, I'm not going to get my hopes up for Rykard. I've made that mistake before. Rykard's going to suck, you guys. Rykard will be so bad. I'm saying that to hopefully... Hopefully, um... Hopefully that's not the case, and I'm just pleasantly surprised, but... We will see. Yeah, we need to have low expectation. Rykard is going to suck. I also will go get a rune arc. Whenever we get this grace up here. Could, man, could it be the first run ever where Rykard is good? Although, I will say, I remember when we did the shield run, Rykard was actually not bad on that. Well, obviously, it wasn't good, but... It wasn't bad because we were so tanky. But on, on all the normal builds, it just, it's just so bad. Ah, I don't know. The, the main issue I see is that we have no poise. Right, so we're going to get stunned by that lava like crazy. And I don't know what I can possibly do about it. Hmm. But you would think that Bastard Star should be... Hitting maybe, maybe consistently, right? Give you the best nut ever. And so maybe we can get some stuns on him. Ah, dude, this is gonna suck. Oh. Uh, maybe I should go get some more heals. We only have nine heals. Uh, Feather, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. Poised tier? Where do you get the poised tier from? Like, are you saying the poised damage tier or the actual... Like, there's a there's a poise increasing tier, right? Maybe there's not. I don't know. Should I go... Do you guys think bull goats would do anything? 
Baldachin's Blessing? How long does that last for, though? Like, would Bull Goats make it so that I don't get poise broken on each thing? Sh should I go get some better armor? Honestly, the Royal Remain set could be quite useful. We don't really need to not heavy load or be fat rolling. So we, we can we can fat roll. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Let's go get I Bull Goats. I, I don't know if it does anything here, but... Tune in, Brian. Thanks for the three-month Prime resub. <laughs> yeah, the, the auto roll cheats, dude. Oh, it's it's a it's a K, the hard C H, Aldekins. Nah. <laughs> Perfumer. Yeah, we could. Let's just go get the poised here and see what happens. And we also got this AP regen armor. Old help a lot. Ball's Chin Blessing. Ball's On Your Chin Blessing. I don't know if this will do anything, but... A nice roll. And that'll probably replace this one. I do wonder, should we go get the HP regeneration talisman as well? Last 10 seconds, the, the leaden tear. Okay, that's not sounding so good. Only 59 poise right now. And the thing is, I can't even put much heavier armor on than this. But this will give us the HP regeneration. Um... So let's go see what's happening here. Ah, uh, I'm not looking forward to this. Bam, family heads. I guess that, yeah, that, that could work. That definitely could work. But yeah, I, I getting the HP regeneration stuff, I think, could be a play here. Don't earthquake me right away. So I'm taking this. I'm actually surprised spinning chains hitting. Try this one. Oh, my God. What is he doing? Blue, though. 
Dude, that was, that was pretty good. I don't have enough blue and I don't have enough regen. Is this Ash of War even working at all? Oh. Okay. Okay, so I need, I need more regen. Where's that, uh, is, is the HP regen, is that from this guy? It is, right? We need the regen. And then, well, the thing with Endure is that it, it doesn't last. I guess, yeah, we can put Endure on the flail. And do it that way. Wait a second, can I get up to this avatar from this direction? I've never actually tried. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, if we had that HP regeneration, and then I can maybe allot some more blue that way. If we need more regen, we can get bestial vitality too, yeah. Hey, this- th that- you know what though? That was not bad. And I wasted a whole bunch of FP. Like, this Bastard Stars, it actually wasn't doing that much there. Uh, can I not hit the... I guess I think I can hit that Spirit Spring from here. I think so. Oh, I thought... Oh, it's disappointing. Let's blast this guy. Oh. It's pretty fast. Oh my god, please don't. <laughs> the stupid attack. Oh my, Millennia's Great Rune is, dude, that's actually a good call. Oh my god, that's a good call, dude. Maybe, maybe, I'll give you the Let's best do it. not ever. Let's do Millennia's Great Rune here. Uh, IGN Femboy Forest. Thanks for the, uh, the brand new sub. Will this be the first time anyone's ever used, oh. I have to go activate it. Um, Millennia's is the one you activate here, right? I honestly, I don't think I've ever activated it before. Shoot, I shouldn't have fast traveled away there. Can I even get to that lift from here? Since we're in the Ashen Capital? I don't know. Only from weeping? Oh, god damn it. I shouldn't have passed out of the way. Okay. I feel like we don't really need it though, at this point. Let's try without it here. I don't I don't think we're gonna need it. But if if I do need it then we can go from there. Okay. So let's go with I think I'm gonna go with the with this setup here, probably. Maybe, maybe we could get some HP regeneration spells as well if I ever. needed it. I, I, I think just the best thing is to go bleed, right? Or I don't know. I'm gonna use another rune arc, I guess. 
Uh, Tim, thanks for the brand new prime sub. Thanks so much, dude. Yeah, let's also go with that armor set. Yes, if, if we go get Millennia's Great Room, we can also get that regen talisman, right? So that'll be nice, but... For now, let's go like this. Jump attack spam. Oh, the stuns are crazy here. The problem with fat rolling is that I have less stamina regen. Oh, damn it, dude. Kind of unlucky. Probably, maybe I should stop doing jump attacks during that attack or just heal or something. Actually, yeah, if we're not going to use magic, we might as well. Yeah, that's that's a really good point, too. Yep, if we're not going to use magic. We might as well go with. Um... Oh, well, I guess. Okay, never mind. I thought. I guess it's fine. Probably... No, this is fine, actually. I was thinking... We could go kill the Avatar for that heal on death one, but... I, for some reason, I thought I had it. I don't know if that's the one you were thinking, but... I don't, I don't remember which one Crimson Whirl is. Oh, boy. Buff. Attack really sucks. I guess it's, it, do, fighting him this way, it's kind of just like RNG if I get hit by that, right? I don't really know. I don't fight him like this very often. Also, not sure. Maybe I should get rid of the royal, the remain set here. Just we'll we'll keep. I, I, I don't know what to do, actually. Yeah, I just get hit by the neck, dude. How do how do how was I not getting hit by that earlier? Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Will goes doing anything? You don't think so? I have no idea. Uh, it is below 18%, yeah. But it's just, it's kind of nice because with the tier plus the remain set, I'm probably not going to die from lava at that point. I wonder if you can just roll that, if, if you just, like, know the timing properly. I can just roll that attack somehow. Probably didn't have to heal there, I guess. Yeah, no, it's, it's just, you get hit by the lava and it pushes you out and then you get hit by the spin. We use frost. We're, we're using frost and bleed here. That's why your damage is actually like decent. I just need to. If I can survive that attack, then we're fine. I just. I. I don't really know how to be honest, because I usually don't sit 
in this fucking lava pool like this, but... But yeah, I get pushed out by his lava and then I get comboed into that attack. What's been happening here? I think. Oh, that's annoying as hell. So, okay, it's a bit later than that, I guess. Dodge that. Surely if I figure out this dodge pop properly then. Runark poise? Well the Runark Runark doesn't get poised, does it? Blood flame reset frost? It does reset frost, yeah. Literally, the only issue is this attack here. Okay, I dodged it that time. Definitely a lot of RNG with it, though. Oh my god, we got, we got a bleed and a frost proc on that one. In a single hit. I'm probably dead. We're okay. No, it's just totally RNG, I guess. That's so annoying, man. He doesn't, he doesn't do that attack in phase two, right? So I guess we can probably fight him more slowly in the first phase. Mid roll even help? Well, it'd be nice to not... I, I, okay, let's, let's go with um, our other armor setup this time. I'm going to stick... I'm going to stay out of the, the lava for phase one. It's just, it's this attack that's so annoying. It's just complete RNG whether I get hit by that if I'm close or not, I, I think. I shouldn't have used the Physic yet either, I'm pretty sure I used it. Oh, that damage, dude. Insane. So far, we're doing okay. Yeah, once we get into phase two is when we're gonna have to go in close, because you can't you can't do the same thing in phase two really. There it is. I just, I shouldn't have used the Physic yet, though. It's still active, but... Not sure for how long. Ah, oh, the hip 
hitbox are so bad. Not sure, is the regen tier already gone? I don't think so. Oh, for fuck's sakes, dude. Yeah, see, sometimes you just get hit. Oh boy, you guys. Now the regen's gone. Oh boy. I'm in range of that. Is there a way to like hit his arms on some of these attacks? I guess I've never really tried. This is probably a lost cause, dude. Yeah, and you just get hit by that one, I guess. I, I just, I remember that being RNG if you get hit by that, or I, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm jumping. I'm not sure if that would have been fine if I didn't use the physic until phase two. Okay, we'll do this one more time, and then if, if this is an issue, then we'll go uh, get the rest of the regen stuff. Yeah, as always, Rikard is just a horrible boss. And I just love that poison attack too. The phase one, you know, the phase one actually, like, it plays pretty well. Even when you don't have the Serpent Hunter. Like, I don't mind the phase one. It's just in phase two, it's like they forgot that. Like, oh yeah, his head has to come out of the lava for you to be able to hit it. They simply forgot, dude. The damage is honestly really good, though. The bleed and the frost and stuff. No issue with phase one. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop this. Oh wait, I do have it on. I actually just can't even hit the boss.
Like, the amount of time I have to hit him is just not enough. <laughs> so I need more boys, I think. Literally just can't hit him. So I guess we're going to have to swap to this here. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Okay, crossed. At least I can hit him now, though. I couldn't hit him before because I didn't have enough poise to tank, like, one of the, the lava picks. And so I just, like, I didn't have enough time to hit him. And now we're okay. We're back in we go. Oh, great. I wonder if it's best to, like, just wait out this attack, but... The thing is, you don't have enough time in between those big... You don't have enough time... Oh, boy. Because he's already going to be doing his big move here soon. Maybe, maybe I'm the best not ever. You should know honest, you should have had. Oh my god, dude. The fuck was that? Yeah, my regen's gone too. I just last so long. This is fabulous. Demonic Ghost, thanks for the six-month reset, dude. All right, let's try this. Because this is probably the best thing I have here. The highest chance I can actually beat this. Oops. Oh, wait, I'm not, not rolling with that. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Oh, it's not bad, dude. I don't have I don't think I have enough blue for it though. Please don't. Let's get him. Another cast here, hopefully. random lava oh if only I could actually utilize that stun right there I'm not gonna have enough blue for that it's definitely it's definitely decent though so I guess we should be able to win this if I die here and just I'm gonna have to allocate more blue flasks Staying in close is not working, man. It, it works with some of the really tanky builds, like when I did the shield run.
Staying close was no problem. On this one, not so much. Oh my god, it's so stupid that I can just come through the floor like that. Keep hitting that head, please. Or don't. Are you not? There it is. I'm gonna do another one. Dang. If I just had if I just had a bit more blue, it'd be fine. Maybe maybe I'll be the best nut ever. No, I got no starlight shards or anything. Uh Flexion, thanks for the uh, raid, dude. How was your stream? All right, what do I do now? <laughs> I don't know. Because now we're at the point where we're getting the double. Like, I just... Why did they make their two of these, man? I guess that attack, you can hit him in the head, right? Like, if you bait out those... Those, uh... Those, like, head attacks. Inflection, thanks for the, the brand new Prime Sub as well, dude. Like, we want to bait out the snake attack there, I think. What if we can get a hit in there? I cannot believe this boss, dude. <laughs> I can't believe this stupid boss. And it's unfortunate too, because there's some pretty cool ideas with this fight, but just fighting the boss like this is just the worst experience I've had in probably any Souls game, realistically. Rejoice, we got a hit off. The miracle. The miracle. Right, dude. Maybe just maybe. keep doing that, buddy. I'll give you the best nut ever. How did you know? All the rolls not working today. Love. Uh, Sinatra, thanks for the five month prime uh, resub. Yeah, apparently they're not working. Oh, the camera's gone. What the hell happened here? This fight was so long that the camera's gone. There we go. That's weird.
Yeah, re <laughs> reboot the cam footage, dude. I'll pre-record him. Like, you can't even fucking hit the head on this attack, bro. Or maybe you can with it. If you had, like, a longer weapon, maybe. Like, double annoying projectiles. Perfect. I love that. A hit? Only half of one, though. Oh, and that was curving towards me. That makes sense. It was curving towards me. I was like, yeah, I'll just circle around the boss. Okay, well, we should be able to beat this now. I'm going to go like, like that. Ah, hopefully that's enough, dude. Yeah, really nice boss fight, dude. Really nice. You get rid of this, too. Oh, I'm about rolling. Oh, Pac-Man attack. Nice. <laughs> nice, dude. That's great. That is great. Honestly, like the the opening, the opening on right card. Since he queues up an attack, he he has access to any attack there, right? It's like it's hard to know what to do. Is you know if you get if you get earthquake, you want to be like point blank, but then if you get that, you don't. So. A day in the life of fucking right card, dude. Yeah, still get hit by Earthquake anyways, of course. I... ...cannot believe this guy. The RNG poison attack. I love that one too. Yeah, you sit run under. Yeah, on all these runs, I'm so close to just not fighting Rikard, but then I just do it anyways, because I, you know, the run's kind of incomplete, I think, if I don't fight him. But every single time, it's just a horrible experience, dude. Like, there's nothing redeeming about this fight. Doing it like this anyways. There's no positive. There's nothing. Only pain. And there was actually, you know, I, I knew this was going to be bad, obviously, but just every time, somehow, it, it's worse and worse. All right, phase one down. I'm not going to waste my FP on Golden Bow here. Just going to hope that we can do it with this. Yeah, I'll try to bait, some, bait out some of his, like, closer range attacks as well. 
Like here, I guess I could go for a hit, but I don't think you can get him without lava, or without getting ticked by the lava there. Oh my god. Yeah, I got hit by that somehow, I guess. The insane lingering hitbox. I'm actually out of heals too, so. Oh, and I got hit by that. Well, we seem to have an issue, you guys. <laughs> we simply have to no-hit the rest of this fight. I thought I had... I guess I used an extra heal in the phase one or something. I... I should go get more flask, I guess. Maybe. Can you block the lava? Uh, I guess I've never tried. Not sure. I mean, what are we saying? Is this even enough? I've got five left. I've used two. It's not even close to enough. <laughs> like, oh, dude. Oh boy. Dude, that fucking fire is so annoying. Or the whatever it's called. Surely that won't come up through the ground and kill me. Yeah, we, like how many, fl we used three flasks there and it's not even close. This is looking grim, you guys. Um, what the hell do I do? I don't know what the hell I do here. I might need some more vigor. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Swat on cloth. Hmm. Yeah, our builds like our builds kind of not super equipped here because we need we need more endurance and we kind of need more vigor too. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to go back to like melee in phase two because yeah we we need to go back to melee in phase two so let's go i guess go back to weeping dude god this fight's so fucking bad so painful
Yeah, we're gonna go back this way. We're gonna get the HP regen talisman. We're gonna get Millennia's Great Rune. Um, not sure what else here. At least those two will improve it a little bit if we're up close. But it's, I don't think it's gonna be enough. Yeah, I Icon Shield, maybe. Although, ideally, we'd just do, like, Power Stance Jump Attacks, though. Yeah, this is rough, man. I Yeah, we could... If I needed... I was gonna say, if, if I needed to, we can start, like, actually putting on some Ash of Wars on these weapons. And, yeah, do it that way, but... The rune arc system, I really don't like it. Yeah, this is why this is why we do Rikard not at the end, because... It's just... <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to end the runs with it feeling like this. Also go get these. Um... I should have gotten the other sacred tier, I guess, but it's fine. Or just starlight shards. Mm. We could get some starlight shards, but I, I don't think family heads isn't consistent enough. Like if if all of them hit the head every time, then it maybe would work, but they just don't. Yeah, and this, I, I don't know, if, if anyone's missed these runs, that like, as we've done before, if you haven't seen these runs before, every single time without fail, Rikard just ruins these runs, dude. Like, they're all they're all super fun, and we're like, we're trying stuff out. And then we get to Rikard, and it's totally ruined. Like, every single time. Every time. I can't think of a single run where Rikard wasn't, like, a huge pain in the ass. Yeah, and we, yeah, we, maybe I should just stop fighting him. I don't know. Not sure what to do. I mean, some of the other runs I didn't fight him on. Yeah, hopefully with this regen, I uh, maybe like one thing I could do is we could go get some more runes, kill some uh, kill some of the later game bosses, just so I can level up a bit more and get some HP. You know, usually I don't need HP in these runs for the most part because, um, because I don't know, we don't get hit too often. But on Rikard, like, there's no, there's nothing you could do. And it's not it's not that flails are bad either. Once we can get our damage off, it's actually fine. It's more just getting stunned by the lava and uh not being able Maybe to get our damage off in phase two. I'll give you the best. Phase one's fine. Ever. Uh well Lentas, thanks for the eleven month primary sub. Thanks, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've never activated this great rune. A single time. Not a single time. Use torrent? I think... I don't know if you can normally use torrent there. I don't know. Suffering through Gideon level 1. Yeah, there's some painful bosses. For sure. It's, it's funny, because Rikard, a lot of people... Um, you know, when I say I despise Rikard, a lot of people don't understand. Because, like, oh, it's easy, really cool-looking fight. And, uh... And all this stuff, but... If you, if you ever do runs like this, then you will hate Rikard. There's just... There's no... <laughs> there's no way around it. You will absolutely despise him. But, yeah, if you only fight him with a Serpent Hunter, then it's, it's fine. We only have one Runark left. 
I active. Did I leave too early? Please tell me I didn't. Whoops. <laughs> I think I left too early. At least I got this grace. I don't know what I I was I wasn't thinking is what was happening right there. God damn it, I gotta gotta go all the way back up. <laughs> yeah, imagine if I didn't get this grace. It'd be just horrible. Should be able to quit that out, I would assume. Usually it's fire giant. Well, not for me. I, I've never really had... Like, fire giant's not really a great boss, but he doesn't really ruin any runs. But he, he's still a bad boss, I would say. But, like, Rikard honestly ruins the runs, though. And I guess, I guess the, probably the main issue I have with it is, is usually in Souls games, the bosses can be beaten with anything. And it's not to say Rikard can't be beaten with anything either, but... Usually in these games, like, if you just, if you know the bosses well enough, or, um... Yeah, if you know the boss well enough, and... I guess that's it. If you just know them well enough, you know their moveset and stuff, you will be able to beat them with anything. For the most part, but like Rikard's kind of not like that. You need to have a certain build in order to actually do it. Like in this case, we need to go get all this regeneration stuff because we can't just, you know, we can't just no hit fight him like we can with most other boss in the game. And that is something I'm not a huge fan of. Okay, we're going to go back to basically all heals here. Um... Okay, so now we have... Let's get rid of this one. The regen. Yeah, if not, I'll, I'll need to go get some more endurance. Or we can go get maybe like arsenal jar. Okay, no, no. So in phase one, we don't need to use any of that. Yeah, right card's sort of like an exception to that, I guess, right? Please don't. Yeah, that's why I don't like him. I remember playing some mods too, like the the, the um there's the Ascended mod in DS3. I'm sure a lot of people are aware of the Ascended mod in Elden Ring, but in DS3 there's the Ascended mod, and it, it it made some changes to the Gale fight, where like he would passively regen HP, and I I tried to go fight him with like so, sort of like a, a mid game build on the mod. But since he regenerated HP and the and sort of the way they changed his moveset and his projectile in phase two, it made it so that I literally just didn't have enough damage to kill him. And so, you know, some people might prefer that, I guess, you know, more based around builds, but the way Souls games kind of are, and they've always been, is just if you're good enough, you just win, basically. And right card is kind of not. Like the way phase two, phase one is perfectly fine, actually. But it's phase two where you just you basically have no punish openings at all. And so it takes forever to kill him. Like, it can be done for sure without any range. It's definitely possible, but you're not going to have any fun doing it. Because they obviously just didn't... Uh, they obviously didn't consider people not using the Serpent Hunter. Or maybe, you know, if they did consider it, they're like, yeah, fuck you. This <laughs> is what they considered. I've never actually seen Millennia's Great Rune in action. It, it, it does look cool.
It looks pretty cool. That was working much better there. Nice. Much better when I have that regen. Honestly, I'm wearing the remain set mostly for just poise because I don't have any other armor. Because I, I, without it, I don't have enough poise to, uh, Tank the lava. Or not not tank the lava, but just not get stunned by the lava so that I can actually attack him. Yeah, we could get the swaddle and cloth as well, but I don't as long as I don't take forever to kill him here. I got hit by that. by something. I'm not sure what it was. I need more rune arcs too now. Oh, dude. I, I don't know what I got hit by. This is where maybe the uh, the good old Chi Tenjin comes out. But There's still a few rune arcs I can go pick up, I guess. I don't I'm actually not sure which ones I didn't get. Yeah, the damage is fine. The damage is totally fine. It's just actually hitting him is a problem. I wonder how much Millennius was actually doing there, though. Let's try without it and just see what happens. Please bleed or frost phase one. Honestly, like... I, I, I guess I can avoid it, but... I'm not even certain if that's how it works on him in Phase 2, if he just, like, keeps the same resistances or not. But it does cap... Like, it basically caps out at a certain point, and... Like, we're still de dealing great damage, so... The problem isn't damage. It, the problem is... Not getting memed by him, basically. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we can we can try to do it this way. I love when you get carried along by his head and then <laughs> like and then die. Fast roll tier. I think we're okay. I, I I think I just need to not get hit. Simply do not get hit. Hopefully without the great rune it's okay here. Because if, if the only thing I get hit by in phase two is the lava, then we should be fine. Maybe there's a better way to dodge that attack, because that, that definitely is something that happens. Where you dodge it, but then he, you know, 
his head pushes you back and the hitbox is still active the whole time. And just sometimes the head flies way over here too. Successive accounts, uh, successive attacks count for sorceries. I, th I think it depends. It does work with carrying slicer. I'm not sure if there's any other sorcery where it also works. I know it does with slicer though. Like, I'm not sure if it works with Catch Flame. It probably doesn't. Like, Slicer might be the only one where it actually does work. Yeah, see, I need the armor. I forgot it. Need the armor or else I can't do that. I guess Millennia's Great Room was actually doing a lot there. Oh my god, dude, the fucking leg just catches. And then I'm. Oh, bro. He just gets you stuck in his fucking leg. That's insane. Millennia's Great Room actually was doing quite a bit. Oh, the pain. Pain of Rikard. Okay. Surely this time, you guys. This is the one. Yeah, I'm not sure why I have Ritual. Well, Ritual Sword's good in phase one. I'm just going to go with the status in... Uh, I'm just going to go with the status setup here. Oh my god, this boss is just insane, dude. Nice. Yeah, had I had I thought about the Rikard fight earlier, I probably would have allocated my stats a bit differently. Guess we can respec, but I I don't I mean I don't really need to I don't think. Just simply win.
Is there any talisman that makes any sense here? Yeah, see, I just I can't even hit the boss like that. Mr. Reichard. If I could hit you. Oh my goodness, dude. And I get stun locked by the fire into the... Oh, if I just had more health, dude. I, okay, we're gonna have to... I'm gonna have to go and get more health here. I just don't have enough health to survive the stuff that can happen. I simply don't have HP to do it. Um, I guess let's go fight. Let's go fight Gideon. Oh, dude, it's just horrible. Actually, so bad. Let's go kill Gideon. Hopefully Spinning Chain will just destroy him. Hopefully. Yeah, I can respec. Yeah. I'd rather not, but... Because, yeah, I, I don't have enough vigor to, to survive the, like, inescapable stuff that he does, right? Because right there, it just, I got, I got ticked by the lava at the same time that I had to roll, and so I just couldn't roll. So, like, I just got frame trapped, basically. No, we have to kill Rikard now. We've already fought him for, like, fucking an hour. Okay. Hopefully this goes well. I don't think I can take another horrible boss fight. Although, there's no other boss fight like Rikard in this game, so... Not really too worried about this. Will spinning chain just absolutely blast him, I wonder. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. It was working for a second. Try the rancor on him. Please end him. <laughs> oh my god, what a boss, dude. Oh, what a boss. This game, man. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Boya, thanks for the uh, six month prime resub. Also, Ogre, thanks for the 11 month resub, dude. I, again, I think. Didn't that, didn't that happen like four hours ago? And Adam Duncan, thanks for the uh, brand new Prime sub. Oh, man. Okay, is that enough runes to get a reasonable amount of vigor? Not really. I can get one level. I might respec. I might have to respec here. World, the. World's first respec on one of these runs to kill a boss. This is unbelievable, dude. This 
It's unbelievable. I assume I don't have a larval tier right now. Um. If we're doing all remembrances, then we have to go kill Moose anyway, so let's go down here. Oh, man. Actual run ruined by fucking Rikard, dude. It's so, like... Oh, this feels horrible. The run ruiner. The one when you talk to Ranala. Uh, do you? I don't know. Yeah, we could do remembrances, but we're we're like actually really high level here, so it's very expensive. Yeah, let's come down here. We can kill the mimic, or just pick up the one that's here. But basically, I'm just gonna you know we don't need to have over forty in those stats, so I'm just gonna put the rest in vigor, and then I like I just need to be able to survive a hit on Rikard so that. It, because there's, there's too much RNG with getting stunned and stuff. So, yeah, we gotta... We gotta get more vigor. And then we should be okay. We could get better armor, too, but then I need uh, more endurance. Because even, even, since we're not going Godric's Great Rune, we could get the, the jar, but, I don't know. Yeah, we just need more figure and we should be okay. I would, does Millennia's Great Rune, does that, uh, does the amount of, I guess the, uh, never mind. I guess the, the amount of damage you take is how much you can heal back, right? 50, 60 vigor. Yeah, normally I would do that too, but well, actually, I'm I don't really need that until I go to Rikard. There's no other boss where I need any amount of vigor on. It's just Rikard because of how the fight goes. And plus, like getting more flask too. Normally I don't get a lot of flask, but I need to on this. You have to. It's the way he works. Did he flee? Is it to become no, Millennia's was working. It, it was working there. Now. Okay, so we'll go... Like, realistically... Just going like 35 in each of these stats... Is probably fine. There we go. Okay, so now, now we can survive. Now we can survive, and then we should be good. Hopefully. I should have leveled up, I guess, but it's okay. Just, I need enough vigor to, uh... Oh my god. It's two of the two of his best attacks in a row. Need enough figure to tank the RNG stuff in phase two.
Yeah, the flail, the flails are good. This isn't a flail issue on this fight. It's a right card issue. It's, it is kind of funny because I think the best right card fight I've ever had without the Serpent Hunter was probably the ones with the shields, which is, I mean, maybe you wouldn't expect that, but I think just the build I had allowed me to, you know, I had a ton of endurance and I had tons of vigor, right? So I, it, I didn't have a lot of damage, but I was able to just kind of tank anything he did. So, so like, that's the big thing here, right? Instead of just, you know, with Rikard, you know, it's not about just, it's not about just learning how to fight the boss. It's about just having the right build to beat the boss. I really don't like. See, now we have enough vigor to tank stuff, so. Actually didn't get that heal off, apparently. Doesn't help that the flails are so short. And the longer this fight drags on to, the worse it gets because my uh my tears gonna run out. Uh, bleed, bleed is honestly fine against Rikard. Bleed is fine. But yeah, Frost is definitely good. Which is what we're rolling with right now. Bleed and Frost. How could that have missed you? He just keeps jumping fucking backwards. Ah, oh, wow. That is astounding. Incredible. That some of these just whiff him. Doesn't make any sense. Actually might have to get Icon Shield on top of this dude. And and the, the Swaddling Cloth. Normal our normal L1? I can try it. Sprint L1? No, that normal L1's horrible.
It's actually insane. It's almost like just doing the spinning chain hitbox was better earlier. Maybe, maybe I'll be the best nut ever. I don't see how that makes any sense, but like it actually hits more consistently. Uh, DIY nerd man, thanks for the brand new prompt sub, dude. How did I get hit? <laughs> like, I don't understand. I just got hit somehow. Did I stop running? Yeah, I guess the, the weapon hitboxes are obviously a big part of this fight as well, right? And, like, the hitboxes of the flails here is just atrocious. It's just so bad. No more heals left, so. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Like, you gotta go a little string going, and then oh, random lava pool. Random lava geyser kills you. Yeah, this is probably over. Got no more heals left. You know, I should probably try rot. There's just no point. No point in trying to go in. We do have some blue, so I could use family heads, I guess. Yeah, this is actually, I think this has been the worst right card so far, but again, it's mainly because of the build we have. This is not a good right card build, man. It's insane. Let's get some family heads going. Dude, the fucking aim punch on that. Mm. 
Okay, so we got two more casts of this. I guess I'm gonna try it here, even though I could get lava pooled. Basically, our best opportunity to actually use that. Look how it makes his head just go crazy when you hit him there. Okay. So basically the only way to win this, I can regenerate enough HP that I can maybe go back in. But the main way to do this is just a, you know, the very few attacks he has where he actually um, leaves, or where I can, his head actually leaves the lava pool, then I'm going to have to rely on. Yeah, you can equip and unequip the talisman. Yeah, it's just like going in there is pure RNG, of course, because I, I could just hit a lava pool, right? Which is what happened earlier. But yeah, I, I can do this and we'll regen. See the health over there. Technically, it's a thing. Usually, people only do this in PvP, but. Yeah, see, now he's gonna start doing this, and this is just so bad. Double. Like, there's, there's really not much I can do when this attack is happening. A hit. Ah, oh, gotta give me those neck attacks, dude. The only way. Got an L1 off. I wonder, you know, it'd be funny if there's actually some, like, good way to fight this boss that I just wasn't aware of. Like, in this whole time, I was like, oh, yeah, you could have just done this. How funny would that be? My hours of suffering on this horrible boss fight. You guys know, I was considering fighting this guy on fist only, even, dude. I was considering that. I'm like thinking how that would go. Even this attack, his head's too high. Oh, there we go. I got him. So you got to take a take a lot of damage. Could you imagine this fight on fist only? I just that'd be a career ruining fight, a life ending fight. that even possible? I, 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 I think so. You get enough regen, and there definitely have to be some things to work out with, like, the swatting cloth and all that stuff. 
probably be like a 20 hour fight, <laughs> to be honest. We're not going to get a status proc on him, so we might as well go with our higher damage. I think these have higher. Well, I don't know, actually. I, I, I honestly, I think that's the only attack I can do anything about. But we, we do have a bit more HP now, so I can maybe... Oh my god, imagine that fucking hit me. You can maybe start thinking about going back in. We need what, like five more attacks? Nice. There's one. Give me that neck follow up, buddy. Nice. Get two more, maybe? We can probably go in, but I'm just gonna not risk anything here because. We've probably spent two hours on this fight alone. Like, not this particular fight, but just... Oh, fuck you, bro. Just overall. Like, what time do we start fighting Raycard at? Like, four hours, maybe? Follow up, please. I mean, I have to go in, right? <sighs> Never has there been a, le a less fun boss to fight than Rykar, dude. On some of these runs, it's insane. Okay, well, we beat him. Hunter's not going to like that fight, you guys. <laughs> fucking two hours on right card. The whole run is like six hours, and it's been fucking two hours on right card. It's just insane. Okay, well, um, I guess go do the mimic. Wow, just, just the, like, that's, <laughs> that's what I mean, dude. Just the, a run ruining fight every single time. Every time. Oh, let's actually swap the great rune. You know what's really stupid? Is that when you swap a great rune, even though I have a rune arc active, that it doesn't, like, maintain the rune arc. So stupid. At least I don't think. Yeah. Yep, goodbye, Rune Arc. Okay, now let's go back to being positive here, dude. The fucking cancer of the run is done. 
Now we go back to having fun. <laughs> Surely. Surely. Can't ruin a great spear run. You know what? That is very true. <laughs> you can't ruin a great spear run. Uh, we still have the weird physic, but it's it's fine. Let's swap these talismans out, though. Yeah, see, like, a, a jump attack wasn't even fast enough to, to hit him without the armor there. Like, basically, it just wasn't. <laughs> okay. Family heads on the Mimic. Yeah, DS3 has Yorm, but Yorm's like, Yorm's a fun fight, com especially compared to that. I think just in a vacuum, I think Yorm's a decent fight on its own. But when you compare it to that, oh, it's like a, I don't even know. Look at the fucking panic rolling. Hey. This is a good, honest flail fight. <laughs> Whoa, that start started up still. Interesting. All right, we can go respec again. I just, I don't know if there's a point because we already, like our stats are fine. 40 in every stat. Just now we have a bunch of vigor. Yep, get out flailed mimic. Uh, Yorm without the storm is, is totally, like he's, the only problem with Yorm, in my opinion, is that he's too simple. Like his moveset's way too simple, but it's, I, I would definitely recommend, uh, Trying to fight him without the Storm Alert. But the, the, there's things that you need to know first, right? You got to know that his weapon arm is will poise break him, right? If you just hit his other arm, you'll get the bonus damage, but it won't actually poise break him ever. So you want to hit his weapon arm, like the arm where he's wielding his weapon. Or hit his head, right? So as long as you know that, it's no problem. Nice to finally catch you, Liv. Any way other than channel points for a YouTube oh. bloke to request a run? Uh, David, thanks for the 1,000 bits, dude. I appreciate that. Um, I guess not at the moment. I don't, you know, people have tried to say they'll, like, pay me money to do a run and stuff. I don't really like doing that because more, the runs are kind of just for fun anyways. But... Yeah, channel points are the only way for now, but... You know, when I occasionally do charity streams, like the last charity stream I did, like a, a few months back, um, people requested runs with donations for that. So, you know, if I ever do one of those again, I probably will. It would take like half an hour to do what? To do Yorm, you're saying, or something else? From a super fast stomp. It's actually not that fast. You just, once you see it a few times, then. I should show you guys a fight maybe, of Yorm. I'll give you the best Straight up. Yorm does ever. not take half an hour. That's not true. Yorm, Yorm literally, t if you go look at a twin blade run, like if you go look at my, my runs where I didn't use Stormler on Yorm, which there's quite a few of them. I was probably the first no hit runner to start doing that. My Yorm fights are literally like 45 seconds with plus 9 or 10 twin, twin blades. Uh, Morgan Murphy, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. I appreciate that. Yeah, like you, you can have Storm Miller fights with, with the twin blades with a good setup. That's actually just faster than Storm Miller potentially. Oh boy. Yeah, but basically, the what, again, what you have to know is that you have to hit his arm, his weapon arm, and then you also have to hit his head. That's what you need to know. Because if you, if you try to, um, take my bits anyway, less than three. <laughs> uh, David, thanks for the 500 bits as well, dude. 
But yeah, if, if you think it takes like half an hour, then you're probably just like picking at his toes the whole time, which is not what you're meant to do. But I guess the, the main thing is though with Yorm, you know, it's not an S tier fight. There's no, there's no way you can argue Yorm's some S tier fight or anything like that, but I think what's good about Yorm is they thought about if people didn't use the weapon that they're giving, right? They, they considered it and then they made a fight where the mechanics still work, even if you're not trying to use the Storm Ruler weapon. But in this game, they just didn't, dude. They just didn't think about it. Or, or, I don't know. I don't know what they thought. They weren't thinking, maybe. How's it going to recycle? But every single run we do is just such a, it's just a demonstration of that, basically. What do you guys think is the best weapon here? This, this might be a little tricky. Bastard Stars may be good. Maybe, maybe... So that's what's nice about Yorm, is that ever. it's an actual fight. If you're trying to do some sort of challenge run, or you don't want to just use the weapon. And they gave you an option. A shot, maybe? Yeah, this boss just has no health. We are probably going to fight duo Gargs here, because we're going to fight Fortisax, I think. Yeah, this run this run's taken a lot longer than it should have because we just spent almost you know, we just spent an hour and a half on Rikard there. Unfortunately. Ooh, that's working. Sorta. I if I can just tank this. Oh yeah, we got we got enough regen to just tank it. Oh, the headshot. Oh, I have no idea. I really like Bastard Stars, dude. One HP meme. I think if I use the Ranker, it's going to get to him fast enough. There we go. Ancestor down. Yeah, let's go. We'll, we'll go over here. And this is probably going to destroy the gargoyles here. About his Wulnir hitting bracelets. Well... You know, I don't think I've ever seen anyone kill Wolnir without killing bracelets unless you're using Pestilent Mist and Toxic or Poison or something. Uh, Godzooks, by the way, thanks for giving no sub. I appreciate that. Um, but you would actually have to really try to not do that. Because you would have to basically only go for his head because the way Wolnir works is any hit on his forearm counts as hitting the bracelet. So... You'd have to, like, really try to not hit the bracelet. Okay, here we go. And you know, maybe, so what's maybe. funny is this is a boss that probably a lot of people would put much ever. lower in tier list compared to Rikard. For me, though, like, I, I take this boss any day. I take this boss any day over the abomination that is Rikard. Oh. It's a chunky hit, dude. The second one shouldn't have spawned yet. There he is. Oh, too bad it didn't connect twice. Would have killed him. Here we go. No problem. Look at our damage, though. I think the Twin Blade version is my favorite. Oh, boy. Nice. Problem? The no rune spent. <laughs> yeah, when I was climbing the wall up there. Do this fight on low damage. It's not great. Um, it, it 
basically, yeah, if you have low damage, you just have to... You, you basically have to play like a godskin duo, right? I don't think it's a well-designed duo fight or anything like that. But... Um, yeah, low damage. You just got to be patient. Wait for your openings. That's it. I don't think there's really a secret to it. It's, it there's no question it's not a good fight, but... On any run, I would take fighting that boss over Reichardt, I think. Even on, a, like, a fist-only run. I'd still rather do that. Yeah, you can just skip that boss, of course. Just slower to do that. I really like that they gave you an option on uh, how to get down here. I think that was actually really a good idea. If you had Serpent Hunter. Yeah, if I had Serpent Hunter, I'd rather fight Reichardt, I guess. Because Reichardt right, right with the Serpent Hunter is just a trivial fight, right? It, it, it all depends on the runs, but most runs I do, at this point, do not use Serpent Hunter, so... Uh, you can kill Sewer Moog to get down here. Would Reichardt be okay if they removed the lava? Hmm. It would be less annoying... But it would still suck. But it would be less annoying. A cat with big brain. Thanks for the brand new sub. I should probably just stop fighting Reichardt on these runs, you guys. I, I don't know. Unless I... Maybe we should do some testing and try to figure out some better way to fight him. But... It might be better to just not... <laughs> to not do him on these runs anymore. Be incredibly annoying and uninteresting without the lava. Well, I, I think the way phase one works on Rikard is 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 fine, right? Because that's a viable alternative. All they had to do is scale back his health a bit. Even with the lava pool, it's still um It's still a completely reasonable fight, right? And I, I think it's actually cool. Maybe he's got some bad attacks, like the earthquake and the poison attack, I think are bad attacks, but. If you just exclude those in the way the fight actually goes with melee builds in phase one, it's perfectly viable. And if they scale this HP back maybe by like 50% or, or something like that, then he would have a reasonable amount of HP and it would be no problem. But it's phase two. If they just if they kept with the same idea in phase two of making his head go out of the lava on basically every attack, then all of a sudden, Reichardt's perfectly fine, and there's no issues with him, right? And that'd actually be cool, because then you'd have two different ways of fighting him, and you could fight him on any build. Really hope this Ranker is good here. But they did not do that. I almost wonder if it was like an accident in Phase 1 that they made his head <laughs> exit the lava or something. Oh, destroy, dude. I not have enough blue here, so I might. Oh, of course you interrupt that. Really want to try spinning chain. Wow, <laughs> dude. Just destroyed. Hmm. Yeah, I, I agree, Nathan, 100%, yeah. Ow. Maybe the flail is actually... Or the... Dude, I keep saying the flail. The, the spinning chain is actually the play on these guys. I guess we can eliminate this guy, though. I can lock onto him. Ah, oh, god damn it. Not sure if it would work on Lionel. This guy's just being a coward and sitting back.
How did you get your shit back up like that? Fucking cheater? <laughs> That's... It doesn't really work on the poise monster, Lionel. Goodbye. Yeah, this was, this actually did way less damage than I thought it would here. Kind of disappointing. Okay, uh, so we've got to go do the Ranny stuff now. Yeah, I kind of just did less damage than I thought there. Any assessment which fellas is, is objectively the best? Um. Well, honestly, I, I think you can't really go wrong with them for the most part. They've all got a use. Um. I don't think you can go wrong. These three are are very similar. It's just the the the. Scaling is different. Like, these ones are strength. These ones, dex. I guess this one's kind of both. Um, this one is... This one's probably the weakest, I would say. Family heads, just because... I don't know. It, it, it can be used for just killing things from range, and that's about it. Uh, but then, Bastard Stars can be used on quite a few things as well. Like, bigger bosses and stuff. And and little mobs. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think you can go wrong with any of them, really. Teleport to, I was actually thinking about just giving myself the curse mark, but it's okay. Might as well just we're already here, so. So all this stuff past Moose, you guys, we do only to fight Fortisax. Keep that in mind. I don't know when we I what what the timer was at when we killed Moose, but I don't know what since I uh I reside here. But literally all of this is only for Fortisax. It, it's funny to think about just because I don't know, man. Usually bosses don't take this long to have to reach, especially a boss like Fortisax. It's just unfortunate. Probably here is faster, I would imagine. Also, I gotta go get the I'm already here, so I might as well run there, but. Why do you need to do this for Fortisax? Fort you just, you need to unlock the boss, right? So you gotta do the Randy quest line. You gotta get the Finger Slayer Blade. You gotta get the Curse Mark of Death, or whatever it's called. And then you can fight Fortisax. But the only reason you, you need to go to Deep Root, if you're trying to fight all the Remembrance bosses, is only to fight him. Um, I guess technically Estelle, you're not supposed to reach until... Like we do a skip to reach him, but but I guess you, I mean you could argue Estelle as well, but uh, how's it going uh, QT? Yeah, I talked a few hundred times, but it just it's it's kind of an unfortunate. It takes like twenty minutes to kill one boss fight, basically. That's why I usually um, usually I've been doing all great runes for these runs so that you don't have to go to Estelle or Fortisax, basically, and then I just throw in Placidusax, but we're already here, so we might as well. Next run I'm doing, you guys, unless I, I feel like there's potential on Rykard, I'm doing, I'm not, I'm skipping Rykard, man. <laughs> like, unless there's potential on him, like, there's some builds where when I did the incantations, I, I was thinking there was potential on him, and to be fair, what our build was wasn't bad. Not compared to this, at least, but... You know, something like that. Where I feel like it could actually be good. But if... Yeah, if we're doing a if we're to run like this one... Probably just not gonna do him anymore. How is Big Bubble on Rykard? I imagine it's not terrible. As long as you can stack enough damage. Okay, so we gotta go here. Yeah, when we do an intelligence only, then Rykard shouldn't be terrible. Also, you know, other builds as well. There, there's lots of options you have for Rykard in terms of range stuff for him. Uh, 
right? So when we do strength only, there's there's plenty of Ash of Wars I can throw on to make the fight better. But it's just doing it no range, like right now, basically. I guess we had family heads, but there's like no damage. Oh yeah, no, you like Rikard melee can be done, but you need the right weapons for it. Right? If you go watch the shield run, it actually was a surprisingly decent Rikard fight because I was really tanky, and then also the shield somehow didn't have issues hitting him. But but yeah, if, if I had a weapon with more range, like a, a great spear or just any something like that, it'd probably be a bit better. Mind only and strength only left as solo runs. Uh, what do you mean by solo runs? And do you summons? I could use summons, yeah. I remember when I was doing a lot of the... Uh, when I did the, you know, marathon last year, when people requested runs... Every time I fight Rike, I fought Rikard, I used Spirit Summons on him. And in that, you know, I actually kind of forgot about that, but that's what made him reasonable. Somebody's aggroed somehow. Ancient Lightning Spear? Um, for Dex? I, I would probably, for Dex, there, there's plenty of options, right? I could use the Bolt if I wanted. You can block the Stagger from Lava. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's definitely part of the reason. But yeah, maybe, maybe for future runs, I should kind of look more into what I can do to make that fight not as bad. Which that only runs next? I'm not sure. Still, like most of them, right? I've only done three. I've done endurance, I've done arcane, and I've done faith. So, which summon did I use? It, it just depended. Uh, but since during that marathon, I just I was going into you know higher and higher new game cycles. I didn't actually make new characters. I, I think I just had Tish, and I just used Tish every time. Dude, mind mind only would be fun. I think mind only will be fun. Is it'll just be Ash of War spam all day long. Maybe, maybe. And I like the sounds of that. I'll give you the best nut ever. Dude, what am I doing? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Moshmo, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. I I clearly haven't been here in a while, and I dropped off the wrong thing. And I didn't realize until I was, it was too late. Whoops. Arcane Tossman, Arcane 2. I mean, they might have that in the DLC, right? It's the same with, you know, they have... Whoa, how did that miss? They have the, the Frost... Or, or sorry, they have the Bleed and, and Poison slash Rot Talismans and Helmets. But they don't have that for Frost. Because they even have a Madness one, right? Madness Helmet. Yeah, usually I walk off here. Is it always morning? Well, the camera makes it look a lot brighter than it actually is. It's also summertime right now, so. Yeah, you need stamina as well. I, I just... Ash of War only won't be bad, to be honest. Or not Ash of War only. FP only. Mind only won't be bad. But yeah, sure, the damage isn't going to be insane or anything like that. It's not going to be good. But it's not going to be terrible. It's going to be doable, is what I'm saying. Green screen allegations? Yeah, I guess not. That is true. You'll see he's going to have a boss that sleeps and death blights you. There could have been, yeah, there could have been some sort of sleep dragon, you know? Because they have a they have like a fire dragon, a rot dragon, a magic dragon. Magic slash frost, I guess. And and a frost. Also. There's gonna be a sleep and a madness dragon.
I'm excited for the DLC, dude. Hopefully it doesn't take too much longer, but I guess it's probably going to be, what, at least another five months, I, based on what everyone's saying. Sleep Dragon would be so funny. Imagine a Sleep Dragon, but it's like X Sykes, where he does this, you know, the biggest AoE of all time, but it's sleep instead, and it just instant procs you. Imagine how funny that would be. And then he, like, runs up and grabs you if you're sleeping or something. <laughs> Snork Sykes, dude. <laughs> Snork Sykes. Snork Sykes. The sleeping dragon. Oh, yeah, I guess there's not really a bleed dragon either. I didn't think about that. I'm gonna play Lords of the Fallen. I probably won't. But I guess I don't know. I knew you. What is it to deny like the dog? I see. For I, I Man, that would be so funny. A, a, there should be a sleeping boss. Oh. Imagine I killed her. I am, but they call yet you People complain about it. Well, people complain about everything. When just like how God I complain about Rikard. But I feel like my complaints on Rikard are justified. Even though there's always people that are like, you know what, just fight him with the Serpent Hunter then, you know? But Obviously, that's not what I'm doing. Make a dog with a blade. Well, that that's kind of already existing, right? Malaketh is kind of a dog with a blade. Not in its mouth, though. But I, am, I choose, and I will who will inherit what great. This is good, but I, am, I choose, and I will who will inherit what great. Oh yeah, Red Wolf, dude. Oh yeah, <laughs> I kind of forgot about Red Wolf. So there's numerous. Okay, what build is good here? I actually really don't know. This might be good at hitting the head. Dog with a gun. You could do that. The stagger, the stagger is not happening. We, we, it, it's just not happening. Yeah, the Fia sex scene just happened, but I had to skip it, you guys. Will this actually work well? Oh yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does, dude. Holy shit. I just queued up a drink. Please don't kill me. The gods demand repentance. Cough up your coin. All of it. Uh, EXE, thanks for the, uh, 6.9, dude. Small price to pay for the best ER content. Love you. <laughs> thanks so much, dude. Oh, boy. Yeah, the best ER content of rage quitting at Rikard. The, the, the skulls are, like, just not fast enough to catch up to the head sometimes, man. Oh my god, that's... <laughs> why did that scare me, dude? Here we go. Actually, pretty good on him. I guess it was worth fighting for to sex after all, dude, to see how good this actually was on him. It's weird how it did so, such little damage to Fia's champions, though. Isn't that weird? Like, sure, we're getting headshots here, but... Maybe they... I guess they just missed. I guess a lot of them just missed. Um, okay, you guys, I think... Only... Only two bosses left. Hopefully I didn't forget anybody. I wonder how good a status build will be on this fight. 
that's very strong i is i don't think so because are like the these are just ma it's just magic damage right i don't think there's anything else going on you think star is here you can swap it out Uh, Kevin, how's it going, dude? See if I can utilize spinning chain here. Nice, dude. Already a bleed. <laughs> He's getting destroyed. Okay, transition maybe? No doubt the damage is, is definitely there with the flails. It is definitely there. That's so, so good, dude. Alright, the final boss in this run is done. We could get I, I we could get black flame blade I guess but we also haven't been using the magic tier just realized All right so we definitely want frostbite here so I'm going to actually go like this I think We don't really need the... You know what? I'm going to get more blue. I don't I don't need so many heals. Black Flame Blade with Spinning Chain? You guys want me to try Black Flame here? Yes, I can. I would have to go get the book and stuff. Oh, would that actually be any good though? Like, I, I, Black Flame doesn't doesn't like stack a bunch, right? Unless I'm mistaken, but I can go try it. Uh, I was gonna do something though that I can't remember. Oh yeah, I was gonna. Like, we really don't need this many flask here. Yeah, it doesn't stack, so it's it's basically just like hitting with a normal weapon. We can still try it though. Might as well. Yeah, because it'd be one thing if every single time you hit an enemy with Black Flame Blade, it, like, put another damage over time effect on them. Because then it would be just totally broken. But unfortunately, it's not that. I don't think. I haven't really used the buff a lot, but... But, but Blood Flame Blade is like that, I, unless I'm mistaken. Or maybe it's not, dude. Maybe Blood Flame Blade is actually the same. I have no idea. Never thought about it. Black Flame Tornado stacks a bunch of times, yeah. Fair book. What do I give this to? It's the guy in round I guess I can give it to the turtle. This guy's gone. Turtle it is. Oh, see, I could be wrong, though. Uh, DD Ghost, I appreciate that, dude. Could be wrong, maybe it does stack. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Let's 
still won't be bad though. Like it'll still be pretty solid. I, I just I think Bastard Stars on Elder Beast is probably gonna be the play. Hopefully. Yeah, at the start I was saying that Bastard Stars is Bastard Stars is um I like it more than or at least the nebula on this, I liked it more than on the what do you call it? Wing of Estelle, but yeah, that's probably not. Definitely Wing of Estelle is a more powerful Ash of War when you're killing bosses. I think if you're killing normal enemies, then this is probably better. I welcome I am my opponent. Oh, it would have been okay on Raycard, JK, yeah. Uh, Emin, how's it going, dude? Oh, you are free. I would so if you find unless uh, by the way you guys I do want to do some sort of um I want to do a co-op run like a, a seamless co-op because there's a huge player limit now right 17 faith oh boy <laughs> I'm gonna have to respect for that there's a higher player limit on seamless co-op now right would that be cool to do maybe a run like that I guess maybe uh, is it time Actually, Seamless Cop isn't... No. I don't know. Oh, wait. Do I have enough? Be not, I would Am I stupid? No, oh, wasn't it 17, Faith? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm stupid. All right. Final boss. Do I know I show speed? I know of them, I guess. Like, sort of. Like, I've heard the name. The Flint Blade? Yeah, Rykard was horrible, Hunter, dude. Like, just horrible. As with every run, but this one probably was worse than any other run. I spent, I spent a good hour and a half there. So. So, yeah. So I guess we're going to want to swap these after then. <laughs> I show me. Yeah, I did, I did hear about that. Yeah. Yeah, we killed Moog. All, all the boss fights on this run have been great. Except for Rykard. Oh, boy. Oops. I'm expecting a... Wow, this is very solid. That strike damage. I'm gonna get a stun probably somewhere here. Oh, he got in the air. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was trying to... Everyone knows what I was trying to do. I was trying to kill him before, but... Yeah, Black Flame is definitely not super good here. Well, it's good, but not crazy. There, now we're talking, dude. It'll be fun to edit. Well, honestly, just cut it all out. <laughs> like, just remove it. Nobody wants to see it anyways. I love how far forward, like that's got some insane range on it. Okay, will we finally get a Bastard Stars stun? Please. You can't. damage is great but the stun like the the staggers on this are just non-existent almost i don't know if i'm just doing it wrong but oh boy i love the walls in this arena and how they almost always have our factor in the fight it's crazy uh, 
That's a problem. Nice dodge. Yeah, it's it's definitely not a replacement for the wing of Estelle. No question about that. Bye. Just fucking kidding. You're joking, dude. <laughs> the rank or kill. Down he goes. All right, well, let's not let right card take away from how good the the flans are. I I did not think they'd be this good, and they're really good. And I, I honestly, I can't even think of a spot where they were just particularly weak either, except for right card, obviously. But everything sucks on right card. Even in right card phase one, that's probably a better representation of how good they are. They were so solid, dude. Yeah, really good. Like, was there anywhere there? We we basically, we would have one-cycled Moog if I reposted him, I think. Which is pretty insane to do on a suboptimal build like this. Yeah, they're just so good at dealing status, man. Crazy. That is crazy. Play some Convergence? I definitely will, yeah. I saw that there's a new update, so I'm looking forward to playing that again. Yeah, the, the flails are good. I mean, I don't know what else to say about them. They're very good. And I didn't realize how many Ash of Wars you could put on them, which I didn't really do much on this run. Like, we just put Chilling Mist on, basically, but... Apparently you could put Lion's Claw on a fucking... Fucking Flail? That's kind of weird. Okay. Let's see what our final time is on this. But yeah, we did do all remembrances. Reichard actually took an hour and a half. So this run would not have been nearly as long. It wasn't for Reichard. Yep. 613. Yeah, our final uh final stats are we ended at level 123. We just went strength X and int and vigor. And vigor was only required for Reichard. I didn't need it anywhere else. It would have been cool to just go higher damage, but. But yeah, there we go, dude. Flails are cool, man. I didn't I didn't think they'd be this good, but right away, once we got to that market fight, I realized they were not gonna be bad. And they were they were good. Especially power stance with a jump attack build. They do a lot of poise damage stuff, but I was planning initially today to do God Run 3 practice and, and continue on to game four, but I didn't think this run was going to take this long. So, yeah, I'm probably going to end for today. Um, but, yeah, I'll be back on... I'll be back on tomorrow, and tomorrow's going to be... Uh, I guess God Run 3. There's also a sponsor 